is the is Hello everyone and welcome today for an amazing dodgeball day at the Northern European Championship. I'm Benjamin from Ben and Dan Commentator and I'm commentating this amazing game today with Dan. Hello, thank you so much. I am thrilled to be commentating in what will be a very spicy semi-final between Northern Ireland men's one and Sweden one. My friend, it looks like it could be the final of that tournament and we start with that whole crazy... It is. Absolutely. You do not want to miss this game. Any of these teams could do anything and really you have the best men's team in Europe already competing in the semi-final against maybe their biggest competition for the, uh, for the gold in this tournament. Yeah, that's absolutely crazy and... It's actually a bit sad because one of those teams will be out and will not be able to take part in the final. Yeah. I guess, I mean, except if we find an arrangement and we can put three teams on the final. But I don't think it will be done. No. I cannot wait to see those talents showing us everything they can. Absolutely. I mean, if you just look around and look at the players that are there, the depth of talent on each team, they can throw, they can move, they can catch. But uh, what sets aside the truly great players, especially in a game like this, is going to be their decision making. The Northern Ireland, they are actually the number one Europe team, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I think... Uh, in terms of recent European Championship performance, absolutely, especially in the men's. Um, and even if you don't take into the account, it is difficult to argue against them being the best men's team right now. I think they, they are just double uh, gold winner, isn't it? Yes. In, in, in men, two in a row. I do believe they are the best. I've played against them. Did you uh, this year? You know, I have been unfortunate enough to not get to play against them. I would love to because, you know, it's just so enjoyable to play against that good a player. Yeah. Honestly, it, 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 it's not so often that you play against a team and you're like, no matter what I do, no matter how good I play, it's just locked. It's just over. Oh, and that is what Sweden need to do today. They need to unlock them. And they can. They have some absolute storming players there. And they're very exciting. They are spectacular for a reason. Um, we'll, uh, we'll see a few of the players out here today. We've got uh, Saravich, McAdam, Tockelson, all of these players. Kriechbaum. They have hard throws, they have agile movement, they're great players. They have taken some incredible results in the past. They, uh, in the group stage in 2022 in Drachten, they uh, lost to England men's by, I think it was just two sets. So uh, at the time, England were pretty much the champions. Yeah, they are still ne needing help for uh, for the the field. I think they want to have the best setup possible for that game, which is uh, basically a kind of a, a final before the time of the final. And uh, on the other court, if we've got on A2, on the A3 court, we have the Northern Ireland men's twos, because they just have that much depth in the semi-final lining up against Scotland ones. So it could be a Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland final, and uh, it's Scotland and uh, Sweden's job to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, I've been watching uh, the Scottish team yesterday. They are really good. I've seen Duncan just dominating a game all alone almost. He could have won alone against this. <laughs> it was just crazy. Untouchable, killed everything. And he is against that team. I, I, I mean, it's team two, but 
it doesn't feel like it. The Northern Ireland do are so strong, and if you look at the player in it, you're like, wow, would I would if would I even make Team Five of Northern Ireland? <laughs> I think uh, you know another thing that sets these uh, these top three aside: Northern Ireland, England, and uh, and Austria, is the fact that their second team is also just as good they uh, they're drilled in the same tactics they got the similar strategies the technical ability is not always as good as the first but uh, it's sometimes incredible all the same so uh, Scotland and Northern Ireland too have thrown off and we are just waiting to get going for the Sweden semi-final they are clapping it's very beautiful everybody is ready to be fair play I am really not worried about any fair play uh, problems today. All those teams are the greatest. And we are listening to Pierre Korvelek chanting for his team. The Swedish are ready, I guess. The Swedish are ready. And so are we. Oh, I can't wait. Go and grab your drink amazing. now because you got about 10 seconds to uh, to not leave your seat afterwards. Uh, and maybe get a breakfast with you because it's very early, isn't it? Uh, it is, it is. I can tell you that uh, a few people at this competition, including myself, were, uh, were not in bed early last night. <laughs> that is not something uh, astonishing, I have to admit. I've been to a lot of events. That happens every year, and the kickoff will now happen. Who do you think will uh, be leading the game? Well, I think that uh, one thing that Sweden really needs to look to do is take early leads in sets if they can. Uh, they are they're a very erratic and uh, chaotic team, which uh, really works in favor in the opening sort of 30 seconds to one minute of a set. Oh, beautiful. They are both playing very aggressively until now. I would, I, I was not expecting like that after the first play. Amazing call from Lee. What a hit and what a hit afterwards. The retaliation was just on point. Wow, what a dodge. Arad is a player that was not uh, selected, I think, for the last uh, Euro, and he will want to show that he has the skill to be on the field and to win against Northern Ireland. And I'm, uh, I'm sure a lot of the uh, the top teams, the, the Austrians, the English, anyone coming up against Northern Ireland in the World Cup will be watching this and trying to dissect the way that they play. You see a lot of post throws coming in from the Irish, Northern Irish team, and uh, it's been their one hit so far has been that. So, Oh, beautiful, beautiful um, defense from Christian Bone there, who defended that fr uh, his friend Macadam. Strong arm of Johnny Hill. And the Northern Ireland take the lead with one more man. Lee wanting to punish. Fries doesn't care about it. And just look at the five players on court for Northern Ireland. It's a formidable opponent. It's actually a kind of a, a Hall of Fame team. Yeah, it really is. Uh, also, Douglas, he's in the outbench right now. You, you would have to put him in there, too. Yeah, definitely. A lot of talk have been going on uh, during the the, um, the 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 whole weekend, saying like, "Oh, who do you think would be the team of the best best player of the whole world?" I think some people could go argue that it's just the six players of Northern Ireland. <laughs> That's all. I'm sure the Northern Irish would. <laughs> now a lot of looking at uh, each other now, huh? Yeah, uh, 45 seconds remaining of the set. Sweden need to do something here. There are two players down. I think they need a catch. Oh, that was chirurgical. Yeah, now you can see they knew that Sweden will be looking for a catch and they don't want to risk anything. They release on Ben McAdam. Oh, oh beautiful. Shot. Fris and he needs to go and he gets wow. it for Hansu. Murphy is going there. Oh no, look! Oh, I'm not Four sure. Four seconds, he's got to go. And it's too late. Oh. What an end! 
If every set ends like that, I'm going to need another coffee. And I'm going to commentate one game today. <laughs> <laughs> what an ending! It was crazy. Like they started very fast, but after 30 seconds, they completely blocked both of them. Then nothing happened for the whole set, and in the 20 last second, like so many hits. It was a, an uncharacteristic loss of composure from the Northern Irish, you'd have to say. But at the same time, that is what Sweden do. Exactly. They are spectacular, and they will always be. Adam Hill has uh, released two on just the opponent opposite him now. I think uh, for him, a big part of the game is being able to push McAdam back and give himself some space. Adam Hill, a bit of a, a star of the team, so uh, naturally a danger man that they want to lock down on the Sweden side. Yeah, they are really looking at McAdam, you know. He is very probably, and I would even say without a doubt, the most experienced uh, Swedish player. Extremely smart, extremely talented physically and mentally. Oh! Sarovic getting a beautiful toe shot there on Lee. Uh, so it's normal that the Northern Ireland is focusing on Macadam, but will they be able? Because he is talented. One man up for Sweden. Uh, and Costa tries to get out, uh, Krishbaum tries to get out of the way, but uh, Rad is there as well, so he can't quite get out. They are now five against five, and it's one minute thirty. There is. Ooh, uh, that was close. Uh, there is actually not so many e hit. I'm actually astonished by that. Well, Telström is uh, is the player you would back to take that catch from the uh, from the Swedish side. Yeah. Oh, wow. beautiful hit! And McElroy also is going down. Sarovic took Lee and McElroy. What a throw! Oh. <gasps> Oh, beautiful hit. Oh. And it's just McAdam left. Oh, and that must have hit the bottom of his ball. Yeah. Looked like a hit from here, but uh, he's an honest player, is Murphy. Yeah, and we are from, like, over, so it's really hard to see. Almost impossible there for McAdam. They threw all the three balls at the same place. You cannot... Uh, catch that, it's just impossible. And it was even so accurate that I have the impression the goal was the ball to hit each other and go in every direction. I think they would be able to put that on. And now they are substituting Lilling, number 69 for Sweden on. Fris is taking a break. And these Swedes, they know it's there. It's been two very close sets. Oh, and uh, Lilling. Lilling is out. Did he hit the, uh, the line? Yes, he did. It's an unfortunate. Ooh. Oh, once again. And Sarovic, you have to say, is winning the battle on his win. Yeah, definitely. He got so many hit there. He, he might be the key to unlock the game for Sweden. No. Ah, Christian Baum out. He goes for the catch and it's not done. The Swedes are now only three more on the field, but they already took down two of the Northern Irish guy. There is only one guy different. <laughs> and uh, that's the second time Rad has ducked under two balls like that. He is so aware of the line around him, it's absolutely insane. Yeah, I, I was getting a bit nervous about how close he was there. Oh, oh Douglas! Pause in time from a referee. Hill makes it very clear that they've got to stop the time as quickly as possible. I don't think I've seen such an emphatic shoelace pull from a yeah, player. It, it looks like they were uh, actually more uh, encouraging uh, the shoelace than complaining about anything everywhere in the world. Uh, yeah, they did cook. It was obvious. <laughs> Hill doing his job well, trying to draw that release from McAdam. McAdam in a bit of a situation where he can't do much other than release on him. 
Yeah, the, the, the Northern Ireland team is really controlling that game. It's very impressive. Huh? One minute 30 left. Oh, oh what a cross. Uh, McAdam is uh, kicking himself, but, you know, I think he's been a bit harsh on himself. He's got yeah. Hill and McElroy right in front of him. Yeah. Of course he's not looking at Douglas. Yeah, he, he seemed very frustrated, but honestly, that was a crazy shot. And it is now 6-0 for NI. It's, uh, I want to say it's not an accurate reflection of the game, and in, in some ways it's not because of how well Sweden have been doing in each set. However... When you have a flawless performance, as and I have barred that uh, little moment in the first set, uh, it's really impossible to say they don't deserve all three set points. Ah, definitely. They have been dominating every set until now, so they deserve those points. But I cannot un agree more to say it is not looking like the game. Oh, I'm leading out again. Oh. And there's lots of communication on the balls and uh, Sweden are having a difficult time giving away the fourth ball here. It has happened a few too uh, many times for them. And Rad going down for the third time. I think Northern Ireland just understood that and they are not letting him survive anymore. Oh, no. And Sarovic dies there, missing his block. Six, uh, five against three. It's hard for Sweden right now. Four balls for Northern Ireland again. And uh, Sweden, in my opinion, if I was them, I'd be calling a timeout. Ah, he's missing that catch from very close. It's only one minute into the set. Wow, that went very fast, honestly. Wow, he was very close to get that catch. I think it would be the good moment to take a timeout for Sweden, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. They, um, I mean, they just need to reset, take a breather, and the way that they're playing is good. They just need to have an answer for this Northern Irish aggression. The second they make a hit, there's a retaliation on them. There's a few tweaks that they could be making here uh, in response to NI's game plan. Um, not that it would necessarily definitely help, but they do need to change something as they are four sets down and the semi-final is slipping away. Yeah, I, I, would really, I would really say that they need to change something. I'm not saying they are playing bad, far away from that, but they are not finding any opportunity, so they need to counter that, even though one out for each team. <laughs> Beautiful throw from Lee. Rad survives. And uh, Kriegbaum's throw, you have to comment on that one from uh, on Hill, it was phenomenal. But it brings Hill back in now from McElroy. And McElroy is instantly out, Salvage taking him down. One thing I'm really noticing from this team is uh, a big part of the way they're trying to play is uh, to predict which player is throwing and be ready to release on them the second they do. It seems to be something that has been heavily trained here. Beautiful uh, hit there from Rad, taking the advantage on Lee once again. Huh? Rad oh, has been... Oh, McAdam is caught sleeping. He is going to be beating himself up on that one as well. I didn't even see it. Oh, Sarovic again. Up for... And Douglas is not hit. I am 100%. Oh, Lee, Lee's calling him. Lee, Lee was... Oh. No, uh, Douglas didn't feel it. I really Lee trust that play, honestly. Him. Yeah, I, I think they're all honest. Oh, what a shot from Lee Smurf. maybe thought he saw it. Douglas was confident and he didn't feel it. It's, uh, yeah. You, this is a great thing about an honest team. You can trust them both. Uh, I understand, honestly. They, are, they have all been under the, 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 the head of uh, Wang Shun Wang, who is the most fair play player I've ever been seeing playing. So I'm 100% convinced that everybody, when they are hit, they go out. And it is Rad with 55 seconds left against Northern Ireland. Douglas and Murphy on the other side. Two players who uh, I think could pick a catch from almost any position in any way. So um, a bit of a challenge for him, especially if he's got the three or more balls. Yeah, honestly, he has to win that set right now. Oh, Douglas takes it. 
Northern Ireland are not scared of the release on the last man like that. They know, they trust their throws. And they don't give anything to Sweden. I, I don't recon seeing any mistake until now from Northern Ireland. Only in the first set. Only in the first set. Yeah, it's <laughs> so impressive. It a... They are so solid. And they, that Sweden is still not taking a timeout. It's 10 0 now. Beautiful touch. I think they're uh, giving themselves as much time as possible to get into the game. Um, oh, great block from Hill there. It was a, a hard throw from Academy. Really had to move for that block. That's a hit. Lee's gonna take Darko. A one for one. Sarvich out the hill. I think uh, NI are doing slightly better out of that trade in terms of uh, Sarovic is a key arm for Sweden. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Sarovic had been e extremely important for Sweden uh, until now in the game. So if they can take him out, that's definitely one of the big players to take out. They did give him the MVP uh, for the Euros in 2022 for a reason. And you see there, every time a player commits to a very aggressive throw like Kriegbaum did on McElroy, there's a retaliation coming in thick and fast from Northern Ireland. Ooh. Wow! Ah. And that's, uh, I think they should have been resetting for four there. Oh, referee uh, pauses time. I yeah, think, I think it's just there to get is the ball, ball. Way, way too uh, far away. So they give a new one, but we don't need to go get it. You have a uh, Wazir who has actually been uh, substituted on, which we missed in the in this set, uh, giving another fresh arm uh, a chance to get into this game. Ooh, calling a block as well. There is only five minutes more in the first half. Oh, what a hit! And that's a catch, bringing Hill back. Hill is back, and that's not an easy player to take down. Oh, what a cross from Douglas. And that is the second time Douglas has done that in exactly the same scenario. Uh, good thing to keep an eye out for if you're playing him in the future. Uh, can you even <laughs> keep an eye for that, honestly? And Ahad is once again all alone, 50 seconds once again, and he needs to win. Oh, and Murphy every time does I say what that, Murphy does. Every time I say that, he, he loses right after. Uh, but honestly, it, it was well played for him. He, he is theoretically losing the set already. It doesn't make a change if he gets caught because he needs to hit. He did what he had to do. Murphy just is too good. Yeah, it like uh, in terms of decision making of just throw aggressively at them and if you get caught, you get caught, that's fine. Maybe not a Murphy though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who else? <laughs> is there another name there you would throw at? I know, but Murphy <laughs> is the last one. <laughs> Ooh, great dodging from Tarkelson, who is uh, just come into this set now. They uh, and I picking him out as a, a target on Murphy with it's a ball so there, predicting the, the. I've never seen such a quick movement for a yeah, drop. Yeah, it was drop so catch. fast. And again on Tarkelson. Yeah, that was taking care of uh, keeping the ball. He didn't want to to give too much possession to Northern Ireland, and Lee did actually realize that and decided to kill him. And that is the fourth ball released again. Sweden do need to. Oh no, they no. got another one. And that's a catch. Oh, oh Markham could have gotten it. Makadam could have gone, gotten it, bringing two Northern Ireland out and bringing back Christian Baum. It was really close. But this is uh, this is the magic of high pressure, you know. Uh, indeed, Makadam could have taken that, but um, when you've got these arms in front of you and you take yeah. your eye off them for a second, uh, it's not worthwhile. Oh, what a catch! Telstrom bringing Christian Baum back. 
And that is how Scott, uh, Sweden win this sort of set. Yeah, that's definitely how they can make a difference right now. They didn't make so many catch until now. That's the thing. It is important for them to bring people back because the arms of Northern Ireland are so strong. McElroy uh, uncharacteristically line-faulted there, uh, giving Sweden a bit more of a buyout in this set. And Sweden is leading. Oh! Murphy pulling off at an instinctive last second catch, but he did take his eyes off. I'd be interested to know what the uh, the Northern Irish criteria. Oh, and second catch from Denstrom. The Northern Irish criteria for releasing a standing counter is because they are doing it, but not that often. Yeah, it's a it's a very good point. Thirty-five seconds less, and Northern Ireland are only two on the field. I do know. They could make it still. Oh, Murphy is not scared at all. He doesn't care. He does. Uh, he just doesn't have to be as careful as everyone else with the reactions like that. And that's wow. a hit. Sweden takes the first of their set of the game. It might be the unlocking um, option they needed right now. The moment Sarovic took flight, she knew it was going to be a hit. Yeah. The, uh, Sarovic is jumping so far away. It's insane. He's almost on you every time. And Telstrom was really the, uh, the match winner of that set. It's uh, two catches. Yeah. Honestly, without Telstrom, I don't think Sweden would have won that set, which also shows how important it is to catch. Oh. Wow, and Torkelson getting an insane catch and bringing Rad back, I guess, no? No, Rad was hit first. A uh, second, sorry. Okay. But Lee had been caught pretty often, no? Lee has been, uh, he has been suppressed in this game quite a lot. What a hit on Sarovic. What a powerful throw from Douglas. You watch him play and you know that he's uh, he's more of a middle player, dodger, catcher. So when you see an arm like that coming out of him, you really think, wow, it's, what can't he do? What a dodge again. 20 seconds. Oh, and that's going to be a catch, and he dodge, and Makaram wants to take Douglas, but miss four against four. Ten seconds to go, four ball for Sweden, they need to hit. And McElroy will be released in here. Oh. And no hit, four against four, one point, point for each team. There's a miscommunication there from the Swedish team. They think they, uh, they have the win and therefore Rad does not release that last ball that's uh that could have been a crucial set to win for them it's yeah. uh it's a vital vital point and point to note none of uh like sweden didn't take a timeout in the first half yeah interesting uh i mean every coaching style is different and uh they did start to come into that game more and more as the as it went on so uh perhaps it was the right decision it's not something I will uh, put my opinion on. Until now, <laughs> who do you think is the MVP of that game? Oh, wow. I Honestly, I've got to say Douglas. The way he's commanded the game on the left wing for, uh, for Northern Ireland, it's just been tremendous. I mean, uh, everyone's familiar with the Northern Ireland lads by now. They're all amazing players. Hill is such a... Oh, Murphy's such a catcher, but... Uh, the way Douglas has uh, taken command on the wing, made the important hits, you can see the structure, organization, and composure he brings to the team when he's there, and also just his dodging. 
I, you know, sometimes I watch it and I, I wonder, uh, did he need to dodge that dramatically? I mean, it was certainly looked good, but uh, I, I assume yes, because he's definitely far more experienced than me, so he definitely knows better. And he's so athletic in his movements. What about for you, Benny? Um, I wish you would have said someone else, because I would have said the same. So Douglas, um, as you said, and the whole team of Northern Ireland is extremely good. They are completely dominating the game. But I had the impression Douglas was able to make some difference more often. Like He had a lot of single hits, crazy crosses, insane dodges. You know, a lot of people are, are actually not talking or taking so important a good dodge, but every time you dodge a ball, you give a, a ball to your team to kill someone else afterward. So Absolutely. Du Douglas did a great and amazing job in that game. I just want to give a shout out to uh, Tolström. Uh, Tolström? Yes, yes. Uh, who actually was the key for Sweden to get back in the game. He did, uh, he did make two catch in one set. It was insane. And that last set catch as well, that's really what, um, what put Sweden, gave them that opportunity to clinch that last set, which uh, they didn't quite take. But uh, yeah, I would say that Telström, um, he's a different style of player, and uh, Sweden are very lucky to have him. And also, he was my first kit swap ever, so uh, I, uh, although I think that um, Sweden, uh, for me, it's got to be Saravic. Like, uh, Indeed. In the way the way he's playing, he just proves time and time again how good he is. His decision making is uh, erratic at times, but sometimes it's pure genius. Um, that I, especially the suicide. I mean, it was uh, it was magnificent. You just love suicide. We oh, know that. Who then. doesn't? Who doesn't? But yeah, it's, yeah, you uh, love it too much. Yeah, that's a that's a story for another day. <laughs> but uh, Sarovic, uh, yeah, if he. Um, if he stays in the sets a bit longer, that's uh, often giving them a best chance. He's a, he's a player that's making a lot of hits, and uh, no one makes a lot of hits against NI generally, apart from Austria and England. I think he would like to stay longer on the field, and I think Northern Ireland decide very wisely not to keep him on the field. You have seen them investing two balls into getting him out of points, something which uh, they're not doing generally to a lot of the other players. One, one player I'm very interested by is Rad, because uh, my experience of him as a player, well, as a, as a person was, I met him as a coach for Sweden, and uh, then my, uh, my second Euros, he, uh, he was not playing also, as far as I'm aware. But yeah. um, here he's a key component of their first team. He has not always been selected. Uh, I don't really know the selection of uh, Sweden or how they do. I don't know if he was hurt or if there was something else. But he is definitely one of the big arm, one of the great players of Sweden in that game. And uh, indeed, uh, it made me being a bit surprised not to have seen more often earlier. For example, I would even say, I think he kind of dominated his part of the side uh, of the field. Yes, absolutely. Uh, there was a point actually where you noticed, because uh, Saravic was so dominant on the right wing for Sweden, uh, and he was taking Lee out frequently, and then they, uh, they moved him over onto the other side opposite Hill, and uh, he proceeded to also be an absolute dominant threat over there. Sam Laverty has now been uh, brought on for Northern Ireland, the, uh, the London Storm player. Oh, and uh, Torkelson, uh, Torkelson full started. Uh, unfortunate one. Um, who would you throw out here? I think they're going to invest three in McAdam. Yeah. I would say the same. Oh. They, they prefer to go on Sarovic. I do understand because, you know, uh, I, I don't think Magana did play bad until now. I think Northern Ireland really tried to play with his mind, tried to put him down, uh, punishing him constantly. And I think they consider that he is now down enough for them to be uh, focusing on Sarovic. Yeah, well, I, I also just do think that McAdam is a bit of a uh, structure on the Swedish side. Um, when they have him on, he's, uh, it's not so much how he plays, it's the, how the whole team plays in his presence. 
indeed. Oh, through the legs of Kriechbaum. Exactly, and that's why the Swedish uh, wear so tight uh, shorts. It's for those situations, so he's not hit. I don't think that's why. <laughs> oh, oh, my God! He takes another one. And it's going up, bringing Salovich back. It is very important for Sweden. And uh, Torkelsen, he's a... Uh, he was always more of a winger previously in uh, tournaments. He was uh, a big arm for them, and it, it seems that he's uh, adapted to play on the wing phenomenally well. And they take two class down. I'm not sure there was a hit, but at least I'm sure he did touch a line. Oh, no, I, I, I'm pretty sure it was a hit, actually. And it got the line anyway. Oh. Three against three, one minute 20. Wow. Good honesty from McAdam there. Just scraped him. He was so close to getting out of the way. One minute, ten, two against three. And they give four balls to the Northern Ireland. Aye, aye, aye. Three at Rod. No. Ooh. Ooh. He wanted it. He, wanted, he was not sure. He was not secure for that catch, but he really wanted it. He did a great job at scattering Northern Ireland's throws there. Not one yeah. of them went at the same time as the other. Again, not, not a usual thing to see from Northern Ireland. And he takes heels down. Sweden has three balls, 35 seconds, two against two. Sweden needs to win that set. But Murphy and Hill, they are not the two you want to be coming up against. And they will want to lose the time, so uh, pretty hard. Yep, they'll, and they do uh, well. they'll take the two balls, they'll throw it in the corner, and they'll, uh, they'll force a risky decision from Telstrom and Rod. Ten seconds. Northern Ireland will think, go for uh, the one point. No play ball called, it's over. Oh, whew. and to be honest, I, if I was Hill, I would try to catch that because uh, although they don't need it, that was just floating from miles away. Uh, and that would really put a dipper in the morale. But you know, it's probably a much, much better decision not to go. Yeah, for it. exactly. And that's why he's on the field, and we are talking about him because we would have made the mistake. You know, oh, I, that ball is so easy, and you drop it, and then you are kicked out of the team. Yeah, I think. Uh, Sweden are having a, a few problems with them. Um, oh! And one for one, Macadam is out. Uh, Sweden are having a few problems in the last 30 seconds, minute. He is of a not set. hit? Uh, uh, I guess not. It, well, in that case, he did extremely well. I also had the impression he was in the Swedish field. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> On their half, but not on the field. I, yeah. People will commentate under the YouTube video, and we will see. Oh, Murphy on Sarvich, just going clean through his block. And Northern Ireland is really dominating that set. It's only 50 seconds in it, and Sarvich is not hit anymore. Talkelson read it really well. No, he got under it. I don't get anything anymore. It goes too fast for me. It was uh, a moment where it looked like Douglas might have been scraped, but he uh, he did very well to get under the uh, stunning counter of um, Torkelson. And unluckily, the ball bounced, and Sweden has only one. I think they will need to go for the catch. Oh, four balls for Costa. And he is wise. He goes for four balls. They want to kill now. Well, Sarovic no. will take care of Hill. And Lee's out. They released three balls, though, and it's four balls for Northern Ireland. Yeah, well, they had to do something quickly. Ooh, four what balls again. Dodge. Great movement from Creek. 55 seconds, what would you do? Or do you want to go for two guys? I mean, releasing all three at one is the. Is and the right Douglas option, is out. 
Everything is still possible. 40 seconds, minus one for Sweden. Oh, yes! Oh, oh, Christian Ball is getting it! Takes a catch as well. Oh, but Salvish is out. So, and oh. there was another catch there because Lee is back in. Murphy took a catch, yeah. Wow. Uh, 20 seconds. Oh, oh. And it is out. And oh. 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 is alone in the field. Wow. And it's Makarov against Hill. Macadam versus Hill. Oh. And one for each again. Wow. Wow, what a set. Crazy. Honestly, I'm speechless. <laughs> it's too much to dissect there. It's uh, it's minimal moments, these fractions, where if Telstrom takes that catch, that is Sweden's for the win. But instead he fumbles it and it goes into Kriechbaum and... Uh, and takes two guys out indeed. That's an insane difference. So, such a small detail, but a big, big uh, ending out of it. Ooh. And Leah out. Rad and Kriechbaum. Oh no, Lee's not again. Kriechbaum seems to have hurt himself a little bit there as well. I hope it's just like the pain of uh, the heat on the floor. And you can see Sweden are just looking for more catches in general now. A double cross, kind of. Three balls for Northern Ireland and three against four players. They are. And Murphy's uh, blocking on his teammate Douglas, which is out, resetting the advantage to zero. Hill telling his teammates to calm down here. Sweden are doing really well in this situation. They're, uh, they are speeding the game up. They are going aggressive, but they're not doing it in, uh, in any stupid ways. They're not giving away the fourth ball. They're picking out good targets. They're not throwing at Murphy. <laughs> ah, so close. One minute thirty. The, the set is still very long. They have time to come back. Especially with a talented catcher like Telstrom on the field. And Hales goes for the catch. And goes out, actually. No, he's in. Oh. Five balls. <sighs> the ball just rolls over. Ah, beautiful fake from uh, Sarovic, but I have to admit, Northern Ireland seem to be ready for that fake. And it is 17-5 uh, to Northern Ireland. It, it does seem like uh, it's just slipped too far now. Um, At 12 points, 10 minutes, 40. Doesn't seem very realistic for Sweden to come back. But once again, you know, 17-5, it, it doesn't look like the score doesn't fit with the game I'm watching. No, that's true. Uh, Sweden deserve a, um, a lot of credit in the way that they've, uh, they've persisted, they've kept going. And uh, sometimes I do feel like they're the unluckiest team in uh, just what happens with uh, the risky, clutch, determining moments. And what a hit from Sarovic. He's out again. I have the impression the Swedish team has been focusing a lot on him. Yeah, yeah, I think um, Sarovic has picked him off a lot. I'd be interested to see out of the times he's been hit, how many times it's been Sarovic specifically who's taken it. We can also notice that Kuza actually went in the field. He is playing now. He's actually been on the last set as well. I didn't see <laughs> But Sweden is actually dominating in a very fast manner because it's only 50 seconds in the set, and that's the way they could get back in the in the game, actually. Oh, what is Costa? I I have no idea what happened with Costa. I guess there. the line. Hill leaps. 
And one thing I, um, you know, with Sarvic and Hill that is just so good to watch is how they uh, they read their opponents. You can see with each attack that they are, uh, especially early on, they're reading who's releasing and they're going for those post throws so aggressively and uh, there's very little the team can do. Yeah, you can see the way uh, Northern Ireland play here. They saw that the, the set was very fast, 50 seconds into the, the He's going the for set. a catch. Oh. Into the set, and they're already down on to only two players anymore. They decided to set down at the end of the uh, field and block back, lose time to the maximum, trying to lose two minutes. Ooh. Beautiful. One minute less, three against two. And Hill wants a catch. He's not satisfied with uh, just seeing the set out. Ooh. 40 seconds. Oh, what a hit from Sarvic. Yeah, Sweden really wants to, to win that set fast, I guess, now. Oh, and that's really beautiful block, huh? <laughs> ten, ten more seconds. I, I think the Swedish will not try to risk it anymore because it doesn't bring so much. Seventeen seven. Five sets in it, seven minutes, 20. Uh, if uh, if uh, Northern Ireland plays it well and plays it slowly, it's only three sets. They can just easily win the game. He'll, uh, he'll now take in a breather. He'll work around for uh, Northern Ireland. Michael Rowling is also going out. I think it's the first time Ear Weaker is on the field, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. <laughs> Lovely shot from Rod. And both teams have um, pretty consistently thrown their first ball at whoever has just come on. Yeah. They really don't want anyone to be uh, warming up and leading as well as out. Oh, it's a bounce. Uh, I guess the Arad got a little lucky. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is he going to get lucky? Oh, beautiful from Lee. But Sarovic takes out Douglas in all the commotion. Oh, Bokusen's getting a catch. Murphy looking for Sarovic to leap, doesn't get the luck. And I have to admit, it's one of the first time I see Murphy on the on the wing. Well, I mean, he could play anywhere. Uh, he, it's not where he usually plays, but um, in a game like this where they have uh, probably already won it, it's uh, it's not a bad idea. Oh, um, Coster is. Uh, Seems to be taken care of by some medical. Do you think the, it's the previous uh, action that we saw? Well, uh, Kriegbaum, we uh, we hope he's okay. That's uh, that's all we can say for sure. It, it would be a disaster if he, if he because he, they brought a wheelchair, kind of, isn't it? But he well, seemed to be standing. He's on his feet. He should be okay. Ooh, Ein Zavich makes a catch. And Murphy Bringing knows that was a bad leading decision. Back. One minute more, Sweden can still take it. Time has been paused. I think Christian Baum is wondering about having a, a ligament being broken in the knee. It's a very, very common injury, unfortunately, in Dutch ball. So. They are really checking that. I really hope he doesn't have anything because that is an injury that you get with you for at least a year. 
and nobody likes that. Absolutely. And uh, just quickly, um, looking over at the uh, at the other semi-final men's, it looks like Scotland won or taking the uh, taking that against Northern Ireland too. So it looks very probable to be to a Scotland men versus Northern Ireland men uh, final here at the North European Championships. That we are very probably going to comment, isn't it? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. Well, that will be a banger of a game. 30 seconds, Sweden need to kill at least one person to have a tie. And Northern Ireland know that. Really puts them on the front foot. Oh, what a hit! Four balls for Sweden. They can really take this now. 10 seconds. And Kuzai is out. It's Lee against Savovic. They need to go two seconds. And that's a win for Sweden. It is 17-9 to Northern Ireland. Meanwhile, uh, Northern Ireland takes that win. 5 minutes 30 in the game. It's 16-10. If Northern we should Island. comment that this is the other semi-final you're talking about. Yes, indeed, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, if Northern Ireland 2 plays very fast, they can get back in the game. Yeah, uh, they, uh, they need three sets in 5 minutes 20. Meanwhile, Northern Ireland need uh, a relatively impossible um, four sets in three minutes. Sweden, you mean? Sweden. Is, did I not say Sweden? You said Northern Ireland. Oh, sorry. I don't think oh. Northern Ireland needs anything anymore. Northern Ireland need a Lucas aid. <laughs> <laughs> a good night's sleep. Yeah. Maybe. I, I think they had it anyway. Yeah, I think they were... Um, well, I know Sweden didn't necessarily, so <laughs> not all of them. Oh, what a block! Oh! oh. Two glasses out! Talk was in Pix's moment for distracting. Lilling should really pass this ball out. Yeah. Four balls for Northern Ireland. Ooh, beautiful. One Swede is out. Three balls Sweden, but they are still leading. Yeah, Northern Ireland no. They play full Ooh. sets and they win comfortably and that's fine. Leeling close to make that catch over there and Brew Cousin dodging one. Rod blocks that nicely from Lee and uh, Sweden go forwards. Oh wow, wow, what the movement from Murphy there. He's so agile and very generous. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> What a cross there, and what a block actually, because it's really hard to see that. I was quite sure it would be a hit, like just based on how good the throw was. And Kriegbaum uh, is in the uh, in the box for Sweden, so that's uh, it's good to see that he's okay. And in the meantime, Cousins is sealing the deal, making a beautiful catch one minute before the end of the set. Rod goes for a, uh, a drop catch. It's probably. Uh, the right time of the game to be going for that, but uh, perfect timing doesn't doesn't come off. Nah, Northern Ireland didn't want to give it to him, honestly. Oh, and that's a catch! Earwicker takes the catch. Two glasses back. The MVP, maybe. You know, I'd say first half definitely. Oh, and what a catch from number 33. Twenty seconds left. Torkelson. Four He's goals for Northern Ireland. Decided to let them come forwards. Ah, oh, good what shooting. A throw from there, too. And they will not do anything anymore. Oh. <laughs> I think Murphy wanted to play. Yeah, Magnussen did what he could. He did a great job with that catch. Uh, I haven't seen Magnussen in uh, in the Sweden team much before, I have to say. But Indeed. He, uh, he seems to be doing very nicely. Yeah. It's a, it's a nice new player to have when you can have someone making such a great catch against such an insane team. Oh, no. 
and it is the last set of a game, 19-9 to Northern Ireland. Beautiful performance from both teams. You know, I think uh, you just have to give it to Northern Ireland that their their movement, their dodging, their split second decision making, and uh, also their uh, their post throw slash retaliations are just absolutely undeniable. They're formidable. It's such a difficult combination to play against. What, what I'm the most impressed about is the fact that you know. We, we always talk about uh, Scotland because of how great they are in controlling the game. And I have the impression Northern Ireland is at least as good at it. But you don't even see they are controlling. They are so good that they control everything perfectly that it doesn't even look like it. Well, I think the difference there is the, the control that comes from them is uh, to make sure that they play their play style. And their play style is not slow. Oh. What a shot from Magnussen there. Yeah. And it's over. 21 to 9. Northern Ireland goes in final with an insane performance. And uh, they will be playing against Scotland 1, who are uh, into the dying minute 30 of their game where against Northern Ireland 2, winning 17 11. It was amazing to watch. A pleasure to commentate with you. Thank you, Dan. Do you want to say something? Thank you, Ben. No, it was absolutely fantastic. We have an amazing set of fixtures coming up today at the North European Championship in Trondheim. So don't go anywhere because uh, you're going to see some of the best teams in Northern Europe facing up. And the finals are today. Thank you, Ben. It was a pleasure. Thank you very much to you too. You will now be able to enjoy some mixed and women games. Those will be as amazing as the game we just saw. It was Ben Enden from Ben and Dan Commentator. <laughs> Thank you very much. Follow the EDF YouTube channel. Follow us on Insta. Enjoy. We see each other soon. See ya.
Thank you. Hello, hello everyone and welcome to uh, what is the uh, mixed semi-final, NI1 against NI2. They're so good that they got two teams up in there today. Uh, my name is Daniel Henshaw and I am joined by Elisabetta. How are you? I am not so bad. So I was very excited. I just saw NI2 play on uh, against Scotland, so that was an exciting match. Thrilling, yeah indeed. So, what are you hoping for out of this match? Um, just all fantastic things. I mean, I think both teams are solid. I, I saw them play yesterday. They have, like, they've got excellent teamwork. Um, it's going to be very exciting. And you're uh, you're Belfast-based, correct? I am now. Yeah, I've been there for for a little bit. So yeah, no, I I know these fellas. So you're uh, you're in the hub of the uh, the modern European champions. <laughs> oh, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I am. Um, they're, they're, they're great crack there. They're a lovely bunch. Yeah, absolutely. They are um, honest, honest and fun. And uh, I just had the pleasure of... Oh, uh, we will uh, allow the speakers to speak for a moment now instead. They're um, just looking for some referees on court. Said. So, uh, as I was saying, I was lucky enough to just commentate uh, Northern Ireland men's, uh, the European champions of the last two Euros, against Sweden 1, and uh, they were incredible. Despite the fact that Sweden came at them thick and fast, they were just so dominant in their play style. They really hold up, don't they? They don't let, don't let morale get to them, really. They, they manage to start each set afresh. I think that's what's really fantastic. Yeah, I, you know, um, there's so many elements to keep in mind when you're watching games, but uh, I think a big one, and you, you just see it every time with NI, is their mentality, like the, the mental game that they play. They, uh, they just they keep making the right decisions. They don't, get, uh, they don't let emotion uh, impact how they do in games. And uh, I think that might be one of the elements that really sets them apart as one of the great teams. So we are just waiting for a few more referees. Uh, so, yeah. the, uh, the expectation of this game will be that NI1 beat NI2, hence it being NI1, but uh, you know, <laughs> When uh, when players know each other, it uh, it really does change the balance it of a game does, quite a lot. Isn't it? Yeah. These people have been playing each other for so long that you know they're able to read each other's dodges much better. Yeah, let's see how this goes. And uh, also, I mean, look at look at Ni2 mixed. It's McElroy, Laverty, Cousins, Catterall. These Shout are out not to Lindsay. Lindsay and Turkington. These are not second team players. These are <laughs> top shelf international dodgeballers. Ooh. I know that the game hasn't started yet because this is already headshot Catterall. <laughs> I've actually, I have to admit, I've not seen too many headshots. Yeah. Not, I, not intentional ones. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm allowed to say that's disappointing, um, <laughs> but it's disappointing. <laughs> They're never good, are they? Uh, there's been a few headshots and a catch off the headshot as well, which is, I think, impressive to maintain that kind of composure. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a double whammy for you if you get hit in the head and then caught immediately <laughs> afterwards. Uh, I think it's the, uh, the encapsulation of kick a man while he's down. <laughs> They're still rallying up the troops for the refs. And uh, whoever wins this game will uh, be playing up against whoever wins the uh, the clash on court A3, which is uh, a very tasty game of uh, Scotland versus Sweden. Sweden, uh, I believe, came fourth in the last Euros in the mixed, and uh, Scotland, uh, Scotland narrowly uh, missed out on defeating England in a, a very tight mixed game. Um, I might have to fact check myself on that one. I'm not sure Sweden did come fourth now that I think about it, but they did do very well. I know that much. I'm afraid I, I can't answer that. I'm not. I'm not aware, so. <laughs> 
But I do know that uh, those two teams are fantastic. So Northern Ireland are not gonna. They're gonna need to go into this, and they're gonna have to play their play style and persist with a um, whatever they want to be doing in the final. But uh, you know. I wanna, I wanna see if I can find any chinks in the armor watching this game, but I already know there's not gonna be any. <laughs> oh, looks like things might be starting soon. And uh, Ni2 straight away not bothering to race against Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Wise that decision. Man is speedy. Big dodge from Lindsay there. Managed to get nice and low. Murphy just gets out of the way. Laverty couldn't make it out there. He was stuck in that corner. I think his eyes were uh, focused on uh, the opponent he had opposite him and didn't see Murphy's ball coming. I mean, Karoom's a strong winger. He can really... You wouldn't want to take your eyes off of him, so. Murphy's throwing really strong singles there, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you've got a middle player like him who can get out of the of any ball and simultaneously make hits, oh, oh. Uh, this is what you call the <laughs> commentator's <too> curse. <laughs> commentator's curse. Yeah. I swear, yeah, every time. <laughs> no preempting. And uh, Wales won't win the World Cup. Hannah Cattle doesn't quite make it out of the way there. NI2 is down by three. Down by two. Down by two. Down by two. <laughs> Thank you. But they've got half, half set left, so have got time to turn it around. Now, uh, McElroy is... Uh Many people would say he's really uh, one of the big brains and the engineers of the Northern Ireland setup. Um, so uh, it's a shame because he, uh, I think a lot of his job in this game is going to be keeping Adam Hill at bay, uh, <laughs> which means they can't really use him in an aggressive sense. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's um, pretty yeah. much what just happened there. <laughs> and able to do, I mean, nice big jump there from Lindsay. Adam Hill is just a fantastic player. Just the strength he can get behind his shots. He's uh, he's an absolute vicious weapon. I I think a lot of people would argue he's one of the best players in Europe, if not the best. So a lot of names that you could throw in there, but Adam Hills would definitely be one of them. Fifteen oh. seconds. Brew Cousins is going. Is he trying to? And she makes that block. Oh, doesn't manage to make the block. <laughs> <laughs> Cousins with that final second left. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Just no attempt. Not an invalid though. Still no. technically valid. Extraordinarily valid. <laughs> So for, for I2, we have Peter Morrison as our captain and Adam Hill as captain for NI1. It really is quite extraordinary when you look at McElroy and Laverty being on a, on a second team. It's not, not something you expect to see ever. <laughs> Again, no attempt for middle ball there from Menno Tees. Murphy trying to throw straight down the middle. I wonder if uh, the twos can um, can do something about Murphy's bullets. They manage, yeah. Cousins <laughs> makes a hit on Murphy. Oh, Adam Hill dodges out the way. Big jump from Laverty. And Karoom is out, but it was a trade. I think Adam Hill managed to, to get him from over, over the head. Yeah, it was... Uh, Laverty was in a position where he either threw and died or uh, held and kept the four or five balls uh, coming over. He went for violence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Turkey didn't try to make that catch, but it slips through. And then I2s are up by one. Will it be three on Hill? Oh, and they manage, he manages to run right into that. I don't think that was intended for him. <laughs> Either that or Cousins such... read his mind. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Catch first, catch first. And Murphy is back in the game with over half the set left. And four balls. That looks like it's going to be two coming over to Brew now. Good Cousin block. makes the block. Oh, no, no. one referee calls block, another calls hit. I think, I they're, think just gonna... they're going to call it as a block in the end. Block and then... Good call from the referees there. Important discussion. They called what they saw, they came in, they discussed it, and they made a final decision. Now, Cousins is going to have his hands full with Murphy, so uh, Lindsay and Catterall against Turkington will uh, really be the battle here yeah, in this, I think. Up. Big jump, she manages to get out of the way. One minute left. Cousins doesn't make the block that time. Oh. <laughs> Straight down. <laughs> Couldn't move out of the way. Catterall very casually yeah, moving her like... foot to the side. <laughs> Staying on one leg. You know, I think uh, Murphy's mentality of uh, it doesn't matter if she's already on the floor. It's uh, <laughs> it's just their second team. He's going for the kill. That's uh, yeah. both that's... of them at once, though, wasn't it? There was there well, was no mercy. No mercy, but uh, that's what you need to have if you're gonna be a champion like he is. Ooh, nice wow, that was, that was so close. close to the line. <laughs> it was really using maximum, maximum court <laughs> space. Great throw from Cadrol. Cadrol's really trying to make a catch there, but one second left. Uh, she doesn't quite make it. So NI NI ones are up by four. Four nil. Four nil. Nice little bit of support from McElroy. Yeah, so um, the the really damning thing for them in the first two sets has been uh, this throw from Murphy in the middle. And uh, Murphy isn't necessarily known for his throw first and foremost. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a challenge because uh, you got the two wingers. Um, I don't know if they can really do much about it because uh, oh. they've got Hill and Garoon opposite them. So... <laughs> That quick start from Hill there. Big dodge from Cousins. Wanted just to get out of the way. Oh, she doesn't make the catch. Great shooting from Laverty there. Storm player storming it up. Cattle was staying low. And a hit. Catterall just caught uh, on the flat of her foot. She couldn't really move out of the way there, yeah, and Hill knew he so had an open way. opportunity. Currently set on even numbers. Throw there from Murphy. Phenomenal power, accuracy, release speeds. And now just one player down. If they, uh, if they survive this, ah. it was a bounce. Oh. Great honesty from the uh, from Northern Island ones calling a bounce. Disagreement but between refs there. Calling refs calling a bounce, but uh, the referee is insisting that it was a hit. But uh, 
all of the Northern Ireland ones are disagreeing. So, but he, uh, he, even the other ref, line refs are calling bounce. Oh. And bounce called. <laughs> well, uh, you know, on the one hand, uh, why would they lie? <laughs> on the other hand, they are not the referees. So <laughs> it's a bit of a sticky situation. The referees have to trust. But it was decided it was about, after all. Okay. Convinced. <laughs> And they reset. The reset. time has been paused. It's 11 minutes, sec seven on the clock, and a minute 18 in this set. And everyone's up by one. <laughs> nice block there from Adam Hill. They're really using that, that court space, aren't they? Block there from McElroy. Ooh. Oh, nice block. Very nice block from Murphy. It was a good time for McElroy to release on him, though, there. It was very close to throwing through it. And a hit on Laverty. Cross court throw there from Cousins. And Murphy is out, hit on the back, Turk and turns down. Cousins Lovely trying to make a speedy retreat. But... And. <laughs> well, that <laughs> just was just chaos. unfortunate. <laughs> and then I once win that set again. I think, I think that was up by one. Up by one, it was too confusing. I'm not quite sure no. if Groom got hit at the end, or was he? I, I could not tell you. <laughs> That's, uh, oh, regardless. Another another Whoever. win, 10 I ones. But that beautiful, that end, where they're just trying to seize any opportunity. They know like if they're already down, they've got nothing to lose. Oh, and uh, time has been paused. I think uh, NI2 want to have a little chat. That's... Uh, Let's see how this will affect how they play. Yeah, with nine minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock for the rest of this half, there's time to win another three sets. Absolutely, it is not. It is not anywhere near gone. No, uh, this and, game. and they have been holding up well. It's just at the end. Mm. There's always these um, marginal uh, differences that uh, really win a game for a team, and uh, yeah. I just I don't know how they can uh, they can respond to Murphy's arm in the middle when he's got such phenomenal cover on either side. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's something where they clearly aren't looking to release a standing or too many counters and they want to reset for three. Yes. But if they're going to do that, that means they can't put the pressure on, and that means Murphy does have that free shot, and uh, the four players in the middle are going to have a really tough time for the rest of the game if mm. uh, if that doesn't change. But uh, McElroy is. Uh, he looks like he's a man with a plan. <laughs> no quick start there from I know ones. Oh, and Turkington gets a hit on Turkington. She just didn't get low enough. What Big dodge, dodge, but he does get hit there. Very honest as well. I think Laverty might be releasing on Murphy after this. Oh, strong thing, but Shannon's really making that cover. It was very well covered by Shannon Hill there. Cousins makes that catch. 
Shannon's got a fantastic arm. Yeah, Shannon absolutely. Hill really, she just... We saw her in the women's already dominating play at times with her arm. Oh. And that was at four, they're just making sure they can use all of those balls. Turkington is now in as well, so that's uh, four against six. Oh, and Murphy has stepped <laughs> a good meter off the side of the court. <laughs> and McElroy has no mercy at the end there, straight down. And, uh, wow, fantastic. And Enno was a left with two already with half a set left. Five balls for NI2. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't make it out of there. Uh, I would have been astonished if uh, if NI2 di didn't release minimum four balls and uh, they weren't all at Adam Hill. Just realised we might have been a bit confusing with just referring to Eve Turkington on NI2s as Turkington, since we have Turkington, Hannah Turkington left. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and uh, Sam Lavazzi takes a great catch on uh, Turkington 33. Turkington <laughs> <laughs> 33. Uh, Hannah, Hannah Turkington, yes. That is uh, the two sisters playing on either yeah. side of the court here. That is, uh, what are her names again? Evie Turkington and Hannah, Hannah Turkington. Turkington. Yeah. You know, the uh, the Austrians have a Flo Leitinger and Stefan Leitinger, and they do Flightinger and Slightinger, but oh, I, clever. I don't know if that works for it's, the Turkington. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not quite as not quite smooth. Turkington and <laughs> a Turkington. <laughs> it's just not the same. <laughs> nice cover there from Laverty, <laughs> making sure that they can't make a quick hit. Oh, but they've let that ball release. They've got four. Um, McElroy's out. To that is a punishment to... there. Oh. No, it was a bounce. It was a bounce. Both McElroy and Laverty taken out just after giving away. Uh, Catterall ooh. tries to make the block, but... She's okay. Broken oh, nail. Broken, broken nail. nail. No, no, I hope no. he'll be paying for a new one. <laughs> I, think, I think their colour... Like green for NI as well. What a shame. Oh, hell, what are you doing? Over two minutes left. Boom. Strong throw there. Big jumps couldn't keep that, that hit at bay. When you're on the wing, you really have to be careful of how close you're stepping to a player and uh, against a player like Hill, it is a it is a step backwards that you need to be. I mean, Turkington was back, but she just couldn't couldn't make that catch against Adam Hill. Uh, the right decision. It wasn't even bad execution, but uh, again, just a strong throw. Sometimes it's really hard to. No, no. Oh. <laughs> that was uh, that was a brave attempt. Very brave attempt, but wow. Wow. You know, you'd have thought he wouldn't have managed to get to the ball, but that was not actually the problem. So it was the uh, width of his arms <laughs> just being too far apart. In that case, because the catch would have been made over the line, right? But if the ball was caught in the air before landing on the ground, that would count as a catch first? And so Absolutely, yes. yes, yes. So, so, so long as the ball doesn't make contact with any anybody or anything, and uh, the player is also does not touch the ground or anyone or anything. It's a uh, it's a catch. Yes. Uh, would, have, would have been worth it. Would have been worth to have one person back on. Sometimes you've just got to do it for the look. <laughs> oh, toe tap on the jump there. Nice dodging there from the women. Very and aggressive. I Pushes Laverty over the line. It does. Shannon oh, get Darwich up has a turn of Beautiful pace. Beautiful cut from Kazan's there. Uh... Oh, Karoom, sorry. Oh, from was that catch? She'll be kicking herself not catching that one. Sarah McCloskey. Sorry. Sarah McCloskey. <laughs> nice block there. Oh, Hill hits the line. 
Wow. It's not something that usually in this, happens. Uh, in this game. I think, you know, it, it's always important to try and uh, keep your mentality in a game no matter who you're playing against. But it is really difficult to have the same level of seriousness when you're playing against your second team or when you're uh, playing, uh, playing a game uh, where it's your, team, your friends on the other side. An NIR community of friends. Big dodge, Murphy trying to get pick out that ball. Catterall gets out. Oh, oh, pushed him down. Good yeah. I was terrified she would release that. <laughs> and he'd make the catch. <laughs> and they make that hit. Fabulous work from NIT. And uh, since they called the timeout, is that two sets for Northern Ireland? Or am I uh, am I making that up? No, I believe that should be correct. No? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, well, we said they looked like they had a plan, and uh, apparently the plan was to win the next two sets. <laughs> so, yeah, another two sets to go. And they could be even. To be honest, I'm not sure which way it's going to go. I I am. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, I feel like, you know, they, NIT could have luck on their side. They could, you know, they, they're, they're not making big mistakes. They are, they've got some fantastic play. That's true. They, uh, they've sort of gotten composed five balls. Uh, they are holding. They are not risking a release. Karoom and Hill both. Uh, the head shaking between yeah. them being like, what did we do? Not something that they used oh, to Oh, they do. managed to make that hill. Bounces oh. straight over into the other court. And it was a very good decision from NI2 uh, not to release more than three. Cousins oh. makes that catch, wow. The thing about Hill's, uh, Hill's throw is it's so powerful, yet uh, I've noticed a few of his teammates making catches on him, and I, I think uh, I think they just know him so well that uh, he, he doesn't usually get caught like this. <laughs> Lindsay getting under that ball phenomenally She's well. been doing fantastic dodging, hasn't she? The... Uh, with their arms in the middle, oh, and I have really big, been big jump there. targeting a lot on Lindsay and, yeah. uh, and Turkington, and uh, yeah, I mean, she, they, but she's, uh, she's. I think she really stays on her toes, so she's. You don't really quite know where she's gonna go. Oh. Great shot from Cousins. Numbers are even. Forty-two seconds left. Cousins is out. Oh, ah, McElroy numbers are back to being even. Karoom head plant in the floor there. And with McElroy still on the court as the only man, you'd say NI2 are at a slight advantage in this uh, in this set. A oh, strong throw there, but Lindsay makes a block. A hit on McCloskey. Oh, and Lindsay just out of that last second there. Oh, she looks devastated by that, but she did so well yeah, before. They really held up. It was just such a strong throw. So I believe was that was that even? At the end, I, or did I they do get also not McElroy think out? that the, the no, McElroy was not a the second throw. It was on Catterall, I believe. Actually, it oh, was uh, okay. McElroy, Catterall, and Lindsay still on the court. Uh, but Lindsay Lin out just Lindsay that last got second. hit, and uh, so it was a draw. It was the, a draw. The yeah. scores have been updated. It was nine five to NI one. The Catterall hit was just after the whistle, but uh, oh, but they counted it. The casserole? Yeah. No, it's uh, it was 8-4 and now it's 9-5, so it's a draw. They counted one of oh, the two Oh, the casserole, the casserole hit was it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Sorry, I thought, yeah. You said <laughs> no that, worries. I heard Lindsay, and I was just confusing myself. Meanwhile, in the other semi-final, it is uh, six apiece Sweden, uh, Scotland. It must be a, a very exciting close game. Um, I think so. Both teams will be uh, 
not just having to think a lot about this game, but also about how they can uh, pull apart Northern Ireland, the European champions afterwards. It's uh, <laughs> quite a daunting task, but uh, one game at a time. Yeah, well, I'm sure they're up for it. I think the energy, this whole this whole tournament has just been excitement, really. That like, everyone is very happy to be here. I mean, the organisation of this tournament in Trondheim, it's uh, well, it's certainly the best I've seen. It's really uh, yeah. There's a lot of lot of effort and just care has been put into the whole thing. It's really it's been like amazing to be part of. Yeah, and, uh, Dodgeball Norway are um, you, you must say they're fantastic hosts. They're uh, such a newly established sport and uh, nation in dodgeball, yet they uh, not only on a, an organisational level have they pretty much smashed it, but um, when it comes to performance, they're, uh, both, they're mixed ones especially, uh, really turn some heads. Yeah. Yeah, a, lot yeah. of the, a lot of the teams who played in the NECs will be looking at, uh, looking at Norway and thinking they do not want them in their group uh, in the upcoming uh, tournaments. Did you have any chance of seeing any cannonball? No, I, I don't think I did. Yeah. Uh, I, I do get reels of cannonball on my phone every so often. Oh, do you? Uh, yeah, and it, it, it does yeah. look like a the lot of The algorithm knows what you're keen on. <laughs> it's, it's all about uh, throwing balls at people. That's, uh, <laughs> they, uh, the people creating the algorithm look at it and go, this Neanderthal just wants to <laughs> watch people have balls thrown at him? Okay. Anyway. As a Belfast-based individual, what is your reading on the game and the, and the individuals in the game? Who has stuck out to you and why? I, well, in all honesty, I think I have been impressed by everyone's playing, really. I think it has been fantastic. I, Caitlin Lindsay, she has been doing fantastic dodging, I think, from Murphy. Like she's right in his center line and she's, He's got a strong arm. He can really throw a fantastic ball straight down and she can just get low enough or to the side, you know. It's been hard to get her out, I think. It's just, yeah, very impressed. Absolutely. I, I couldn't agree more, actually. And I think uh, because the men often with the stronger arms tend to tend to be on the wing a bit more, it's it's easy to uh, to overlook how vital the women are in these, uh, in these games. And, uh, and when, when the women have taken the wings, they have not disappointed. They, they have had a very strong, strong winging as well. The, um, yeah, no, I... Cousins has done fantastic catches. He has indeed. He's uh, he's an interesting uh, style of player. He uh, he's got a lot of um, like his movement is not not like an orthodox uh, style, but it, 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 I don't know. It, he's so good. He he always seems to go to do something and succeed. Uh, I don't know, in, in such a way where I watch it and I go, how, how did he manage that? <laughs> Apart from the diving catch, that's the, that's the exception there. <laughs> yeah. It was a nice attempt. That must have been painful on the elbows, I think, on that landing. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, I, I did that a few times and now I have the, uh, the, the sleeves where you have the little padding on it as well. Oh, uh, yeah? Oh, really? It's worth, uh, oh, wow. worth the additional five euro investment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen anyone with those. Okay, noted. Uh, it might be more of an Austrian thing. Austrians, yeah. uh, I don't know. They like their They their like their gear, <laughs> yeah. They've got uh, knee pads under knee pads a lot of the time as well. Oh, yeah? Yes. Uh, double knee pad? Double trouble. But yeah, I, um, I liked how McElroy switched things up a bit. He clearly identified that uh, if it just it turns into a one ball versus one ball release game all game, then uh, Northern Ireland won, we're going to take it. So he uh, swapped things about in the, the style of play when they were releasing. He uh, picked out a few targets, told people who to go for, and uh, yeah, it worked exceptionally well, and that's why, uh, that's why they won uh, two sets and drew the next one. Yeah. The 20 minutes left. NI2s have got... <laughs> NI1s are four points in the lead. <laughs> and in case you didn't hear that, Bru Cousins yells over to Murphy that he gets a five-second head start. <laughs> uh, Did I miss that? <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I don't... Honestly, I think if Murphy uh, starts two seconds later, he still wins against most people. <laughs> Uh, 
Bruce immediately out. Bruce was just uh, picked out there by uh, by Karoom. He um, there's been a tendency I've noticed from Northern Ireland to essentially always target the new player on court. Out as well. Northern Ireland tend to be such an adaptable nation in games. They really. Uh, switch things up and respond a lot to how the opponents are playing so uh, they, they must have probably noticed McElroy and his aggressive counters and uh, Hill was ready Hill was ready to take him out Hill is really targeting those wings today isn't he just Eve Turkington left on court one against six Releases one of McCloskey who uh, skips skins out, out of the way. way. <sighs> Trying to make that catch. That's uh, that's what she's got to go for in this situation. But it uh, looks like Northern Ireland are fully aware of that and will be releasing nowhere near where her catching zone is. <laughs> That's an imbalance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth a try. When it's just you against uh, six players, you got to do. Uh, you get the opportunity and the luxury of just trying things out. Yeah, that's true. Not saying she was incapable of turning things around, but it would have been very difficult. Well, also if it's you know one player against six, it's not just a matter of whether you can do it, but in what space of time and when you're. Uh, when you're down 5-11, you, uh, you need those sits quicker, and if you're slowly letting them win another one, you're really playing into their hands. That is true, very true. Let's see if uh, Bruce can put in his uh, mark on the game now. Cousins, annoyed that he didn't make that catch there. Seeing some fantastic winging from Bruce earlier in the men's game against Scotland. I have a big uh, dive there. Oh, and uh, that's also uh, another new player on the uh, Northern yes, Ireland Rachel teams. McCann. McCann taking a few. Oh, beautiful hit from Bruce onto Shannon Hill. Oh, and we have a line at the back. And uh, the ball did not make it up back onto the wing. Murphy had all that pressure on him. <gasps> wow. Cousins makes that catch. Hill is was shocked by that catch there, did you see? <laughs> How did he take that? Oh, straight through McElroy's legs. McCloskey taken out by, uh, by McElroy. Bruce applied that pressure, coming across. Will it be three on Murphy? Murphy staying in that corner. No. Oh, and Turkington just hit on the knees there. Murphy's got three balls. That oh, such movement. a low dodge. <gasps> nice jump there. <laughs> such, such close range. <laughs> Murphy's center of gravity, and it's just the way, like, it looked like he was in fast, like, uh, double speed just then, the way he moved back to the ball. And uh, John Bruce's leap was uh, top class. And they manage. Beautiful. Okay, and we have a sub from Johnny Hill is now on taking Murphy's place. I think Murphy is uh, taking a breather. Yeah, a well-deserved breather. Absolutely. So. And they do need to be thinking about the other matches that they have. Uh, they don't want to be tiring themselves out, the uh, NI1, but at the same point, they, uh, they're not in a position to be uh, necessarily assuming that they've got any of this game wrapped up. You, uh, no, you were not wrong, Elizabeth. Yeah. It is... Uh, it is an open game. It is. They're only, the Nigerians are only four points down. If they can win two sets, let's put some at a draw. Who Ooh. knows where it could go? But McCann, McCann didn't make that catch there. And Johnny Hill's hit, spinning harshly off the player. And you got a. Got a lot of family. We've got the two brothers, the two hills on court. Two hills, two turkeys. Well, we actually have three hills on court. Oh, yeah, three hills, of course. You got Shannon Hill. <laughs> 
You could make a full mixed team out of Turkingtons and Hills if you just had one more. <laughs> oh, big leap. That was a fantastic dodge there. Bruce and Karim really marking each other. Oh, uh, McCloskey doesn't. Do you get does underneath make it out the, the, the Does ball, make it out of the way. Ball just <laughs> bounced before her. Hill manages to block. Oh, wow. That was uh, a very agile dodge from Cousins yeah. there. And a hit on Johnny Hill. But Adam is quick to take it up. But Bruce doesn't make it out of the way. And NI2s are down to three players. And they've got one minute and 27 seconds left on the clock. This could go either way. Oh, what a hit from Cousins. Nice movement from Catterall. Fifty seconds remaining, three versus three. Wow, what Beautiful. a hit from Say Cousins and a leap. Lee stays, manages to stay off that line, right on his tippy toes. <laughs> and Hannah oh. Turkington makes the catch. And in just a split second, it all goes wrong for NI2 there. 20 seconds and it's 1v3. Can McElroy do it? Ten seconds. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't have the catch. I think Johnny Hill knew McElroy so well that uh, he knew he would uh, be discarding his balls for a catch if he released near him. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's time. What a catch from Hannah Turkington. And I was happy to have, uh, happy to win that set. I don't think they thought they had it in the bag necessarily. There, they uh, they were very happy when when that catch was made, immediately putting them up by two. I was so sure that set was going to go Northern Ireland 2's way, yeah, but the, uh, the just it was the single on Turkington that just went astray. It, uh, it seemed like the, the wrong decision in that moment. Yeah, but it's risky business. If someone makes a catch, then immediately their team goes up, doesn't it, by, by two. So you just... And when there's one player left, that's such a difference. Oh, they, a... uh, they want to make a quick start there. There was a slip of the ball for Hill, and uh, immediately McElroy looks for that opportunity. Oh, Johnny Hill manages. Was that a hit and a rebound? Yes, yeah, indeed. Two out in one. Yeah. Oh, Hannah Turkington manages to uh, dodge out of Bruce's way. Nice dodge there from Lindsay. Great movement. When Lee is on court, I didn't see the switch there with Karim. Big pressure from those wings. Testing Lee's block doesn't show any vulnerabilities. <laughs> Bruce managed to dodge that first one, but didn't see the second oh, one come in. <laughs> McElroy goes with suicide. <laughs> Worth the effort on Hill. Absolutely. And now it's Lindsay and Cattle left for NI2. One minute, 14 to go. They'll be looking for some catches. A 
Uh, these are two very top level catches on uh, on Northern Ireland too, and Catero and Lindsay. They can both have the capacity to turn this set around, but uh, again, I... Oh. oh, Lindsay doesn't make that catch. I was about to say they're not going to give him the opportunity, but uh, <laughs> he'll did, Maybe uh, they did. did close, fly a bit too close to the sun there. <laughs> Thirty seconds left. They're really throwing safe here, aren't they? And Catterall slides off and a timeout for Northern Ireland too. Well, last timeout, they went on to win the next two and only slight just in the last seconds draw the third. So uh, you know. If that's anything to go by, we can uh, expect something great coming out of this uh, timeout. I mean, so they're down by seven points. No, eight points. Four sets. We've got three sets left. They can do it. It's if not they manage be easy. to get an extra minute and a half set at the end, they might manage to have four sets in this game. They could potentially get a draw. Absolutely, yeah. It's. Uh, and I, uh, it will not be going down to a draw, it will be overtime in that situation in the knockout stages of, uh, of the exactly. semi-finals. Exactly. And uh, just on the other course, uh, in the other semi-finals, it is 12-12 Sweden-Scotland. So uh, absolutely wow. no idea who uh, the winner of this game will be playing. Wow, yeah, neck and neck that is. You can see even on court four, Norwegian ones and... Sweden 2's also 14 12. It's all very exciting. Yeah, that, is a, that is a big one for Norway. They'll be getting a nice positional out of it if they hold the lead. Hill immediately makes that hit. Laverty's back on. McCann's down. I think uh, McElroy might be resting himself for uh, an upcoming game now. Uh, he, is a, he is a key component of the, uh, the Northern Ireland setup. Nice big dodge there from Lee. Got some fantastic throwers, really, haven't they? Lee, Murphy, and Hill all coming up with those strong arms. Oh, oh no! What a so close, so close. McCloskey just... clutches at it and just misses out. Great honesty from Catherine yes. there. Yes. Uh, and Turkey does out. Laverty saves his life with that uh, with that release, but he does give them four. He does. Was it worth it? And he oh, what a catch. catch and then line. <coughs> Bring Turkington back on with Cousins. And, uh, I'm not Two. sure how Lee went out. I think uh, Cousins must have hit him on a, on a standing counter or a post throw. Nice fake from Cousins there. One minute left. One minute, seven seconds left. This has gone from a uh, 6-3 to uh, two versus two here. Oh! This is that catch. And that could have been pivotal. Cousins doing some long cross court throws there. Oh, he stumbles on his way back up. 20 seconds left. I think he knows that uh, he's just going to make sure he's up at the end of the heart. At the he end wants of the to set. make that catch. He does for the end. Ooh, great block from Hill. Yeah. Nine seconds left. He's got to go for it. Yeah. Ah. Oh, but Hill all the way down. 
beautiful game. Just fantastic energy right till the very end there. Murphy snipes in midair. It's uh, five sets in five minutes. It might seem a bit of a, an impossible task <laughs> at this point. <laughs> I think so. And, uh, on the other court, Sweden have just taken a second uh, two-set lead uh, since we last commented. So uh, advantage is Sweden. So it could be a Northern Ireland one Sweden uh, final. We've got a complete fresh set of players on for uh, Northern Ireland 2 here. We do. Watts is on. Oh, Morrison makes that hit on Murphy. What a shot on his head. Oh, and Valerie Chen as well. I think our new players have a lot of energy. They yeah. have a lot of, they've been waiting on the sides. They've been I mean, it could bursting be at the seams. Very impactful in this. <gasps> wow, fantastic. Just honestly, the accuracy of their throws. That's a three from three for Morrison. Oh, no, he's a fantastic player, really. I remember uh, watching him for the first time winning the uh, the Euros in uh, 2022 in Drafton. And a trade. And a trade. Oh, both Watts and Morrison are off. 2v2. Just half a set in. And they come up. Hill coming across, making sure Wallace can't release there. Uh, Chen doesn't make the block. Luke Wallace over there with two balls. Oh. Uh, and the referee calls, I believe he called a hit. No catch for Wallace. Northern Ireland one certainly seems to think it's a, it's a new set. Mm -hmm. They seem very confused. Oh, and we have Samuel Erica stepping on court for NI ones. So uh, Northern Ireland 1 are ready for a new set and uh, Northern <laughs> like Ireland 2 are ready to continue. Oh, uh, not happy with that decision maybe, but that's what the refs have called. So you got Earwicker and Thompson coming on for Northern Ireland 1 now. Actually pronounced Erica, as confusing as it may seem. It's that sounds far better than what I've been saying. <laughs> I would like to I've, apologize. We've been mates for the whole time I've been in Belfast, and I only discovered a couple of months ago it was pronounced Erica. So, <laughs> well, the more you know, hey. And finally, Ni One's getting that middle ball, <gasps> Big making arm that hit from Wallace I, and McCloskey. Oh, beautiful block from me. And Erica leaves his stamp straight away. Strong throw from Tedner. Ooh. Nice dodge from Catterall. Not from Laverty, though. <laughs> <laughs> Good dodge from both Catterall and Laverty. Just sort of very nonchalantly picking up that leg. Not a big dodge, just but getting it out of the way in time. You know, it's oh. funny when you uh, talk about dodges, you'll, uh, you'll see some players do these tremendous acrobatic dodges and other players just take a lazy step to the side but uh it, you know, it works it works yeah nice everyone's got their America style there. and uh 
you don't have to do something dazzling to do well in a dodge, but uh, it does look cool. Oh, catch and then hit straight on the top of her head. <laughs> Catterall. was not happy with Thompson. <laughs> Points the finger. He's going to regret and shame. that. Name and shame. Thompson is added to the list of people yeah. that Catterall is not happy with. Pulls straight up into the commentator block. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're there. Wow, big dodge there from Rachel McCann. Beautiful dodge. So who is uh, who is Catherall going to pay make pay more? Thompson for the headshot or Hill for the nail break? <laughs> She's out of oh, Watts doesn't make the catch. I, to be honest, I think both. <laughs> Equally, yeah. Equal, equal payment. They will regret it. Oh, Turkington, Turkington doing Turkington things. And Rachel is out. Beautiful, beautiful. It was 15 seconds after that, so they were really trying. I'm just going to take a note on my phone real quick. Don't throw singles at Hannah Turkington. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fantastic catching. Oh, Morrison v. Thompson on the for sprinting against that central ball. And uh, this game uh, does seem to be completely wrapped up at this point. Northern Ireland won through to the final. Oh, Morrison gets that ball. But on the other court, Scotland, Sweden, 16 16. Still no idea Strong who they're going to be there, playing. Immediately taking Thompson out. <laughs> Big dodge. Oh! <laughs> Straight down. No idea what Morrison's out for I there. I don't think he lined. He's not he arguing. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, what's just when Lee doesn't make that catch. Erica and Lee taken out in the same play. But Helen Cunningham is on court. Alongside Hannah Luffridge. That's how I'm going to attempt to pronounce that. Luffridge? No. Uh, Lowridge? A lot of VNI, uh, a lot of VNI bench now watching the Sweden Scotland <gasps> game, not their Big game. Big dodge from Kate and Lindsay there. Oh yes, <laughs> they seem to be a little preoccupied. <laughs> They've got ten, six seconds left. NI twos are up by three, and they win that final set. So it finishes off 21 to 9. NI1 take the win. Absolutely. But I think, to be honest, each set, it wasn't an easy win with each set. They had to sort of play it hard right, right up to the end. Oh, they had a great time, and uh, you can see the smiles on the faces. They, yeah. all, they all know they had a good game, and you're <laughs> absolutely right. They, they all had a close game. Um, do not go anywhere. The NECs is very much still happening. In fact, I highly recommend you swap onto the other live stream. We're on court A3, where Sweden and Scotland are 16 each with two minutes left to determine who goes into the final and mixed against Northern Ireland ones. You can see all of Northern Ireland is watching that game right now. So, thank you very much for listening. And if you are still listening, what are you doing? Go over to the Dover live stream now, okay? Yeah, pack it in. <laughs> See you later.
Hello, everyone, <laughs> and I hope that uh, you're, uh, you did not hear any loud banging because we did just drop a microphone. It should be okay. Uh, anyway, moving on, we have a great game for you coming up. It is the Women's Fixture Ireland against Sweden 2. This is a positional match for the fifth and seventh place of the North European Championships. I'm Daniel Henscher and I'm joined here by Brew. Thank you so much, Brew Cousins, for joining me. Thanks yeah. for having me, Dan. I'm excited to be here. Playoff matches are some of the best matches at the European Champs, and I'm sure we'll be at the Northern European Champs because you're pitting two teams of equal stature against each other. Absolutely, couldn't be more right. And uh, what are you thinking, uh, Bru? As a as a as a European champion, what is your what is your take on this upcoming game? I'm excited to see what what can happen. Like we got World Cup coming up, so I think people are going to be playing for their places. They're going to be playing with a lot of pride, and they're going to be trying to showcase what they can do in front of their coaches. That's uh, absolutely yeah, and. Uh, you know, whenever Sweden is playing, they uh, they tend to do something a bit spectacular. Uh, yeah, hence the name. And the uh, the Irish, they have uh, they've just been thrilling at points. The uh, especially the catching from the the Irish women has been a uh, top shelf stuff this uh, this tournament. We'll see if the luck's with them for this game, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how many puns we can fit into this. I'm, sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all in. It's all uh, up for a pun. It's, you know, nothing like a, no better way to disappoint the audience than just throwing <laughs> as many horrible word plays as possible. Just before we get going, high fives from both the teams. You always see a lot of good sportsmanship and sportswomen playing at these dodgeball finals. These are two very, uh, very honest, very sportsman-like teams. Uh, it's one of the one of the things we love about the sport so much is uh, the fair play, the respect, the community. You just know that no matter what happens in this game, both teams are going to leave the court smiling. So we've got two minute twenty halves, uh, two twenty minute halves. Sorry, coming up for you. 
and we play as many games as we can within those 20 minute halves. You get two points if you win the frame, one point if you draw. Sweden win the opening rush. Rolfelt quick to the ball, passes back to Nilsson, coming up with a three ball press. Down into the ground by Ranlund. No hit, 6v6. Conaty down into the ground. They're going to need to get these balls a bit higher to make a hit. And you can see there's a bit of a standoff on both wings. Nilsson winning her standoff against Shine on the right. Taking her out as the first casualty of the game. And we're seeing Ashling and Leary staying high. And it's looking like the ball is always coming from the left wing for Ireland. This is uh, what we call the commentator's curse, and it's happened quite a lot so far. We said they can't hit Murphy, and then immediately they hit them. We say it's coming from the left, and that is the moment nah. that they throw from the right. <laughs> Free throw blocked in the center. Staying up high, makes a hit on the left wing there. Sweden, 6-4 up. And, uh, Halfway through this set. Nilsson was hit by a bouncing ball, but she did have to check, and uh, that's the honesty that you see here. Just because she's not sure where the ball's First come hit from. hit Ireland, second hit as well, and a catch. That is uh, number 40 for Ireland, Emily Chadwick, just soaking in that ball, really turning the tides of this set. Oh, great hit. Two ball attack down the middle, sidestepped, counters unsuccessful. <laughs> it's uh, four balls released, zero hits. The, the dodges were just that good. And we're down to the last 45 seconds as Ireland put another one wide of Nilsson, 37. Nilsson looks like a very explosive, exciting player to keep an eye on in this game. She looks like she's going to cause a lot of struggles for Ireland on their left wing. Two ball attack makes the hit. Pressed, but it's caught. Bounced up, off. So we should to be seeing 4-3-3 three, three even. Got lively in the last 45 seconds here. Who can take the win with 20 seconds left on the clock? Two ball attack ducked underneath. Good blocking on the wing from 37, Kincaid. Sweden are told to take the draw. Ireland Sloan coming up, two seconds on the clock, won't get there in time. 3-3, three, three, the first frame is drawn, which means the score is one to Ireland firsts and one to Sweden seconds. Well, all the action seemed to happen in the last minute there, Dan. Absolutely. I, I think that uh, both teams are really trying to figure one another out before they commit to any uh, drastic actions. As uh, There'll be a bit of uh, motion and then a lot of explosivity towards uh, the end of the sets. Battle for the middle ball. Ireland take it this time. Well done to Katie Kincaid. Play two called, two released, two separate targets. Carlson able to make a catch. Just curls her body perfectly around the ball. Really takes it in convincingly. Looking for the catch, but unable to secure. Meaning that Sweden take the lead, six players to four, with 30 seconds played. Good sidestep by Novo. High pressure from O'Leary. Oh, Nilsson not looking. Shine gets a cheeky hit on the toes there. Shine, the captain of Ireland, got a nice smile on her face after making that one. She's uh, she's shining. Yes. <laughs> Split jump. Sees the ball through the legs. Shine blocks safely. 
Ireland such, collecting four. Such confidence from Shine there. She looked like she was in quite a dangerous position, but uh, yeah, that block was as comfortable as it looks. Three ball attack. Ireland making a hit on one wing. Shine staying up court and making a hit on the other wing. I would say that Shine is a key player for the Republic of Ireland. She's really somebody who settles the team and uh, steadies the chips, so to speak. Three released, two hits. Split jump by Carlson, love that. Now the last minute, Sweden are in the driving seat and uh, this is really the test of the team if they can, uh, they can look to control how the game goes. Quick counter, O'Leary makes the hit on Carlson. Not sure why Shine was out there, did you spot that? Yes, uh, Carlson released, uh, released her fourth ball as she was tracking back and it was a very close one. Didn't look like a hit at first but the referee's eagle eyes caught it. Oh! O'Leary! Oh, Jumping forward. And that's going to have to catch. be a card, I think. It that's was not nice. deliberate, but it was a pinpoint hit in the face. Oh, gosh, was it? Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Shine apologizes. There's absolutely no bad intentions there whatsoever. But, I thought uh, that was lower than the, that was the face, was it? Oh, that was uh, right on the right eye, I think. Yeah. So it's, it's actually illegal to go for a deliberate headshot, and the referees will be coming in to discuss whether that was deliberate or, or not. And if it was deliberate, there could be a punishment for O'Leary. Yeah, I, I would expect a yellow card in this situation, which means she would be sitting out for five minutes. Uh, it was... Uh, I'm not sure whether it was deliberate necessarily, but um, I think there is a little bit of a rule of thumb, which uh, because you can't know the player's intention, which is the fact that if they are that close to a player and the other player does not have a ball or anything to protect them, it's a uh, it's a face shot from a close range, and it 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 should be a yellow card in my opinion. But um, and we got two Swedish players lying down just outside of the outbox, one resting their feet up in the air and the other being seen to by the coach, leaving them with uh, just the six other players. Oh, so it's a red card. Nuts. That is uh, big. This is uh, the, I saw the line refs having a conversation and I think one or two of them were saying it's just far too close uh, to be accepting it. So I, initially we thought maybe they were discussing whether a card should be shown, but now it's apparent it was a discussion between a yellow or a red. So what does a red card mean for the audience, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> Set uh, you up there, didn't I? I think you're uh, <laughs> far better equipped than I am. Well, we very rarely see them, but I think it means that this player will be off for the remainder of the match. And will the team be down to five players? I, as I understand, yes. I. Uh, well, that is what happens when you have a yellow card. So. I definitely should know the answer to that question. <laughs> How I haven't seen any cards other than blue cards in this competition so far so i saw one yellow for the exact same uh, situation in another game yesterday uh point blank range headshot not deliberate yellow card shown the player took the punishment they they knew that it was uh, no good so yeah five minutes sat out of that set and the uh, team were down to five players but um it seems that they're still discussing uh, the decision a bit no, they're um, just doing the paperwork i think the decision sticks Cam Relton uh, giving a lovely wave to the camera and doing his Astros thing. He's uh, just come out of a uh, disappointing uh, semi-finals where they uh, they lost uh, the last set to Sweden to get knocked out, and uh, we'll see a Northern Ireland mixed versus uh, Sweden mixed in the final. Um, and Northern Ireland twos versus Scotland in the third place playoff, which I am looking forward to. So, Brew. In, in terms of that game up and coming, uh, what are you going to do to get into the heads of Relton and the other Scottish players? I'd be like water. I don't care about getting in their heads. <laughs> like, if they can get in their own heads, fine. But I just want to be calm and play my game. You know, if we play our game, if we play our way, we win. So, like, yeah, I, mind games isn't really my thing. Absolutely. That's uh, not only is it the right answer; it's also the mature answer. <laughs> okay, and thank I, uh, you. <laughs> I uh, I wish I were as good a person as you. <laughs> well, Although I'm, having said that, I I'm, would not I'm, do that in any competition. I'm not a perfect person. You just you, you try and you try and be your best, and 
if you don't achieve that, you try and be better next time, isn't it? <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, red card. stoppage. Sweden are going to be feeling uh, very positive about uh, the outcome of this in terms of what they can make of a, a one-player advantage for the remainder of a game. And it is uh, exceptionally early in a game for that to be happening. Yep, we are 14 minutes still on the clock in the first half. And Ireland are up by two points. The score is 3-1. Lining up with five because of that red card. Sweden will have an advantage for the remainder of this match. And uh, I think they're just making sure that the uh, the Swedish girls are um, they elsewhere. They might ask them to leave the court. Mm. Yeah. It's not the uh, not the best place to have a lay down. Agreed. Like all that area around the side of the court is fair game for ball retrievers to be running and uh, trying to put a ball back in as quickly as they can. So, and if a, if a ball goes through. flying off someone, uh, you know, a player might look to dive over into that specific box for a catch. Last game I dived <laughs> off the court in that direction. Did not make the catch. It was a magnificent dive. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, absolutely. I was commentating that, that for it. That one hurt. It <laughs> looked painful. That one hurt. <laughs> I've made a few of those, and uh, yeah, I've um, I have resolved to get the sleeves that have padding. I've 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 bought some. I can hit you up with some links um, if you if you're if you're interested. I uh, um, yeah, it definitely helps the elbows to have some some padding there, especially when you get older and your bruises last longer. Bruise bruises. Yeah. That doesn't I, count as a wordplay, it's lazy. I, I used to have a dodgeball team called Bruise Zars. Oh. Uh, so it was meant to be Bruise <laughs> Which absolutely zero people got the pun. And one of my mates said, why did you name a team after your bottom? <laughs> <laughs> Six players to five because of that red card. Sweden coming up with a free ball press. Down and low. Hitting Conaty out, looking for a catch there, and Ireland already down to three oh. players within 15 seconds of the start. Not a good way to go. And Hansen was hit and passed the ball back to her teammate, so I, I do think the referee saw that, and it could be a blue card for, uh, for the player, which would leave them down to four players in the next set. Well, they should have given it by now if it was a blue card, so maybe not. Sidestep dodge there. Ireland now have three balls. And they're going to have to play a bit slower, really. If you play player down, you want to feel your way into a match, which is not what they've done at the start here. Two ball attack. Sweden going to take four. See if they can press home the advantage. Now, Brew, I think that's the uh, that's the experience uh, you have showing that you uh, you know what you're talking about. But I I can sympathise with a lot of the players feeling we're a player down. Let's bring it back to five five as quickly as possible. Yeah, well, that's that's what you want to do. You always want to like push hard, especially if you're if you're a player down, and especially if you're down in the the match. If the game state is 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 like that, but normally. The harder you push, the more sort of low percentage chances you, you go for, and you're not playing as smart as you could be, and it, it doesn't help with you trying to catch up and make your way back into the game. Absolutely. I mean, uh, risks are risks because people don't do them all the time because they don't work all the time. Yep. Safe block by 98 on the wing there. Sweden taking four balls yet again. Can they make a hit from two or three? Two wide. Second one. So the last one coming in, nicely aimed, top of the shoulder. Shine's, uh, Shine's standing counter was a uh, really pinpoint there. Jump over the top by Nilsson. One minute remaining. Sweden with a one player advantage. Oh, 37 gets out of the way of one counter of the same as Katie Kincaid. Shine on her own, 43 seconds on the clock. What can she do? Three balls, the play ball is on her. She has five seconds to release. Using a lot of that time, making her way to the back of the court. Maybe priming herself for a catch here, Dan. You know, if she did that, she'd really be a, uh, a knight in shining armor. <laughs> Not giving you anything. <laughs> 20 seconds left, three balls to shine. Underneath Nelson, no, clips her. One player down, counters on, 
Down and low, try and let it go. Seven seconds, she needs to make a hit here, last play. Blocked safe by Hansen. Three seconds to go, ball's not gonna get there in time. She really gave it everything. You can see her blowing at the end of that set. Shattering it is to be the last person in that situation. Oh, I've been there before. But that's why you train. That's, you know, that's why you do your sprints at home. You, you do your lung busters, you, you work on your recovery so that you can uh, perform in these situations. Timeout called, which means one minute out. And it's probably a, a wise time for Ireland to do that because they're want, going to want to change up the strategy from what we saw in that frame, which uh, brought the score back to 3-3. Three, three. What, uh, what do you think they'll be talking about in each, uh, in each uh, huddle then, uh, Brew? Well, let's kick off with the Roy huddle, Republic of Ireland. I would say, seeing as they're down to five, they need to be surviving. The first 40 seconds to a minute, they need to be still in it. They, they can't have be going got that down space. to two players. Yeah, they've got more space to dodge. So I'd say like a slow start. They want to be making every single set go for two minutes or beyond. Meanwhile, with Sweden, they're going to want to press home the advantage. Um, they have more players on the court, meaning the game state, if they are able to control it, should be in their favour from the start and throughout. So they can be a bit safer if they wish with their throws. And with the women's game, Dan, we see a lot more catches in general. So safe balls can be very difficult to catch and can be make it difficult for Republic of Ireland to turn this around. That's uh, the European champion's perspective. I would, uh, I would listen to it if I was you. <laughs> Full start called. Republic of Ireland getting five balls from that. It's better to lose the runoff in the middle than make a full start down. It's a big error. Three balls released, making the hit, and one ball bounces back, meaning they're going to get three balls again, and it'll be on Republic of Ireland to throw. And uh, this is pretty much exactly what she said, right, Brew? They, uh, they secured the one hit with the, uh, the right throw, and uh, they didn't throw more than, uh, more than three, so they didn't risk giving away multiple balls, and simultaneously they brought it back to 5-5, which is uh, the aim at the start for them. What can they do here? Dodged down, but was looking for the catch there. Maybe shouldn't have stuck her fingers out. One player down now in Republic of Ireland. There's a fantastic standoff between uh, Nilsson and Shine on the, on the wing here. Previous play, she jumped over one and blocked the other. I loved that. Ball straight down the middle, missing. Some loose balls at the top of the court. A couple of trades, meaning that Sweden are up four players to three. Trading when you're down, as Republic of Ireland did there, not in your favour. Now if they were to get four balls, they don't even have four players to throw it. Fantastic dodge down into the left, but not good enough from Novo. Just catches her hair, it was very honest there. Nah. Didn't look like a clear hit from anyone's standpoint. Control from Shine, makes the hit. High counter from Nilsson, gets the revenge. Shot, can she collect four balls? Yes. It's very lucky it caught the back of her heel then. Uh, you need to have that court awareness of where the balls are if you're gonna, uh, gonna beat them with four. That's, that's not on Carlson though, that's up to the ball retrievers and other players to be like, left foot, it's on your left foot, or describe where it is to them, making them aware, because she needs to keep her eyes forward and focused on the opposition. Yeah, absolutely, that's a very, very good Two point. Two ball counter, counter in back, manages to get Nilsson. Shine winning that exchange, and will they win the frame from this? Safe ball, there was a pre-throw, just about released in time, because there was two balls called on Republic of Ireland. They're gonna to look to counter, but they've blocked it back, so they don't need to do anything. Three balls to Sweden, it's on them to make a play. 20 seconds remaining. What do you think she'll be looking to do here? One ball safe. Yep. 
Bounced it in front of the player so they had no chance to catch. Can't change the game state. Going for a suicide. Oh, jumps up and out of the way. What an amazing end to the game. <laughs> Absolutely love that. That's why they're the spectaculars. Yeah, that, that was special. Why not, Brew? Why not? Ah, you can see Carlson saying she wanted it so much there, Dan. This is we what wanted it, means to it for her. <laughs> One of my favourite Swedes, actually. Um, fantastic uh, party with her at the after party, to be honest. Like, uh, the Swedes always uh, hit the dance floor and uh, sing along, and I, and I love that about them. Carlson is a, an enthusiastic dancer, almost as good at dancing as she is at dodgeball. That's what we're here for, the dodgeball. She comes up with three ball press. Faking on the wing, released from the middle, Hansen, unable to make a hit. Six players to five in Sweden's favour. Oh, ducking too late there, Hansen. Just clipped her on the head. 5-5. Five, five. Five v4 now. Carlson up the middle, throws it wide. After throw, but Carlson catches. Last ball. Six players to three. Two minutes remaining on the clock. Really good dodge from Nilsson. Lateral and going down. Two directional dodges. Superior dodging. That often uh, sets aside the best players, managing to first get horizontal and then make their vertical movement after. Halfway through this set. Two balls released at the wing. One of them not making the target, though. Well felt. Easily able to avoid the other. Play three called. Three released at middle. And then a final one at shine who was up court, high applying pressure, made herself vulnerable and a target. Catch on the back foot. Fantastic. I know uh, one thing I've uh, a little idiosyncrasy I love to watch from Rolfelt is her bounces when she's running forwards. You can, uh, you can see she's an ex-handball player from that movement. Oh yeah, nice. Another full ball attack from Sweden. Choosing to avoid Kay Heenan this time. Player called out. 4-2 to Sweden. 30 seconds left on the clock. Oh, catch from Sweden. Well done, Hansen. And they're going to have, have to throw at Kay Heenan now. Vice captain for Republic of Ireland. Can she pick out another catch in this frame? No, not if the ball's there. I would call that invalid. And the referee has called that invalid, which means the player is sent out. And honestly, despite being invalid, it's a better result than her giving away a catch. So uh... true that. I did. Oh, hunting for the catch there. Sorry, wasn't there though. And the time is up. Two safe balls down to the ground, making it very difficult. That's all Sweden needed to do, though. This is what we said uh, when they had the timeout. Like uh, they need to press home their their player advantage, and occasionally you can do those safe balls to just keep the game game state as it is. Absolutely. I think uh, Ireland will um, need to manufacture something now. It's uh, it's definitely their turn to uh, to reply to the fact that Sweden have been a bit more dominant in the last set or two. Hesitant runoff from Republic of Ireland there. Nice two directional dodge. Nilsson unable to track. And there was so much lateral movement on that. Three ball press from Republic of Ireland. Single ball down the middle. Carlson hopping out the way. Now, how would you switch things up if you were in Ireland's shoes? Slow and steady. Just slow and steady, like you're a player down. You want to be making it through the first 40 seconds to a minute with everybody still on court. Oh, 
high pressure, safe block, counter from Rolfeld. Island giving away all the balls. Oh dear. Yes, that's a... Uh, that's a whoopsie. That is a whoopsie indeed. Two ball attack. Oh, ping the fingers on the wing there. And then two single balls from Sweden. That's loose play. Like, you got five balls. You want to do, like, throwing together, I think. Yeah, it's... Uh, sometimes the pressure just gets you a bit. And, uh, you know, Brew, with your experience, I can't imagine you'd be doing that. But I can, uh, I can sympathize with a team sometimes getting caught up in the moments. Yeah, everybody makes mistakes. Oh, fantastic catch. Free throw catch from uh, Chadwick. More than Chadwick. And it was a throw from Novo. She knows oh, that it was the wrong decision. Chadwick making a hit as well. Shining in this game. Good hit by Rolfeld down the middle. Counter by Meg Shine. Nilsson able to hop over it, as she has done so many times already in this first half. Single ball at the wing, hopping over it. Press from the counter. Carlson leaps over it. Sweden are one player up with 45 seconds to go. Tight game this, even at the minute. Sweden with just one player up. 37 seconds on the clock. Uh, in these dying seconds, I feel like uh, it's a bit more important for Ireland to win the set than it is for Sweden. It's a high, high up the court. And they should have four balls. 20 seconds left, Can even Stevens. Can they make the hit here? This is where they need to do it. This is for the frame, I think. Great leap. Nielsen again getting over the balls. Also, a little bit to the right, helping out with the dodging. Free throw and then dodging down to the right. And then a hit from uh, Nilsson. Such a shame. Like, that was a really good frame from uh, Emily Chadwick, but she just exposed herself at the end. And uh, they were able to secure the hit on her. She was very high up. Like you said, that, uh, that last one for the frame, uh, I think it was all about the target selection there. They, uh, they went for Nilsson and she's already proven to be a very uh, agile dodger with the ball and she did get out of the way very well. If I'm, it was I'm, one of the others, it could have been a different story. Yeah, I'm loving how dynamic she is. Um, and she's, she's been uh, playing really well up against Shine on that wing, who is one of Republic of Ireland's best, most experienced players. Sweden winning the runoff there. Can they press home their player advantage in what might be the final set of the first half? Sweden are two points up, seven to five. Cross court, but there is a nice jump dodge. Getting just over it there. That's a Teresa O'Rourke, number 22. This is a fantastic game, Dan. It is far tighter than I uh, than I anticipated. Although having said that, I, I'm not really sure what I anticipated. Loose ball. Just waiting to see that get in. Ball retrievers on it. Ireland have made the call. Come forward with a three ball press. One ball released through the legs of Hansen. No, it clips her. She is out. Counter from. Roll felt. Did she touch the sideline? Nobody saw that. Carlson playing pressure onto the wing. Two ball attack on her, and there's a hit off Carlson onto Novo. They double counted her. Sweden pressing right at the end. Ireland trying to be safe. Everybody shouting. Five seconds left on the clock. Oh my gosh. And, uh, what a crazy half, Dad. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Ireland are going to take that set. And despite going uh, a player down, like halfway, well, not even halfway through the half. I think it was six minutes in. Six minutes in. And it's 7-7 seven, seven at half time. Anybody's game. Absolutely. And uh, you can see the coaches on the side as well. Lena Le Goyle. Or apologies, that's definitely not how you say it. But anyway, the coach of Sweden just screaming at her team. 
first play safe, then run and throw, and it's uh, the swap in the momentum of that last set pretty much encapsulates the uh, the first half and how quickly things have been swapping around. Well, this is the excitement of dodgeball for me, Dan. Like, what other sport is there going to be a play made minimum every 10 seconds? You're going to see some action every 10 seconds, Dan. There's going to be a throw, there might be like a split dodge, uh, there might be like a dive to the ground, there might be a counter, like there's something happening every 10 seconds, it like is. minimum. So like it's all action and this is why I love the sport. And just to combine that, you know, you've got all this action, which is, uh, as you said, just so stimulating. But simultaneously, you've got all this strategy and thought going into the decisions of when to throw. And each 10 second action there has to be a good reason and justification and a balance of the costs and the benefits of each one, making it a real, uh, a real strategic who against who chess game in all that action. Into the tactics then, are you? I love the tactics, yeah. but I definitely wouldn't say I, uh, I'm as familiar as you. I'm getting uh, introduced to it by the Austrians, but uh, you know, they, uh, I think they are far beyond my, uh, my reckoning of that, as is Northern Ireland, I imagine. So tell me what it's like then to play in the, uh, the Austrian league. Honestly, I, I think, in a word, it's a privilege. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, uh, some fantastic players, right? I every every game you're playing against an incredible player because uh, they don't have the same amount of teams, but each team is just top quality. It's uh, you know, it's either Leitinger or it's Hackel or it's uh, Mitz or it's Schmidt. But all of these players are in different teams and. Uh, you never really know who's going to win each game. It's, is there uh, a rule for the uh, Austrian league that the international players must be split amongst uh, different teams? No, it's uh, it's kind of happened pretty organically, actually. It was uh, mostly groups of friends, I, I believe, that uh, developed teams together. Uh, I play for the Ninjas. I joined because I was uh, good friends with Katy Bieber, and she uh, she oh, was part Katty. of it. Love Katy. Wonderful and, and girl. Are you with uh, Woman. with my man? Um, uh, Lucas as well, yeah. Lucas Decky, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's uh, it's been a tough season for us at Ninjas because um, he has been injured. Oh no! So uh, he he is kind of a, a bit of a star man in our team. Well, and, uh, he, he 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 got the winning uh, hit in the uh, the mixed finals of the Euros. I I rate him as maybe the best mixed player in the world. I really really rate him, and I got his shirt. You got his shirt. I got his shirt, and you know what? It is the pun. Uh, it was the third time I got his shirt, so I called it a triple decker. Oh. Lucas Decker, for those oh. who don't know, one of the one of the most uh, outstanding players. Fantastic to watch, and if you can see uh, the, the winning shot, or the whole of that mixed final was a classic, absolute classic of the last Euros. Him being brought on, in my opinion, was the pivotal moment in that game because he didn't play the full game, and it was neck and neck. And uh, Decker doesn't necessarily have the arm of some of the lads in Austria, but his. Uh, his mind and the way he thinks about it and looks at it and the decisions he makes in games is uh, is phenomenal. And you combine that with his catching ability and uh, the fact that you just can't hit him a lot of the time, it's, uh, it makes a big difference. We've got one minute left before the action recommences. Dan, I'm going to go uh, check with my teammates when I'm needed for warm-up. Uh, so I might rejoin you or I might not. If not, um, thank you for having me. Uh, I've been Brew Cousins and uh, people can... Uh, Check me out uh, at Brew Cousins on YouTube or on uh, Instagram or Twitter at Brew Cousins. So yeah, <laughs> cheers, mate. Thank you so much, Brew. Go, go and uh, compete to win again. Thank you. Let's go. Come on, Knights. <laughs> Brew Cousins, there, a voice of experience. I guess we'll find out if he can rejoin us uh, for this second half. I hope so. Uh, if not, I'm afraid you are just stuck with me. Uh, no, uh, no medals for me in anything significant. So uh, far, far less, uh, far less important as voice. Uh, but yes, we are into the second half of Sweden twos versus Ireland. Seven for points aside, but for maybe the first time in a very long time, I certainly haven't seen one. There was a red card given in the first half where uh, one of the Irish girls, uh, she just had, there was a bit of a pinpoint 
shot where she was right next to the girl and hit her in the head. Uh, the two women, they um, it was not intentional, but uh, the referees decided that it was uh, just a bit too close and therefore uh, a red card was warranted. It was a tough decision, but uh, Ireland are in an uphill battle because of it. To clarify, that does mean that Ireland are starting with five players for the whole of the game now. And uh, this red card came in after six minutes, so it's 34 minutes, five players on the Irish side. Ireland having to play two now, did not make the hit, and they are uh, two players down after losing uh, number 40, Emily Chadwick. Lovely dodge in there by Megan Parfit on the left wing for Ireland, dancing around those balls. And. Uh, the, uh, the Irish wingers, they managed to put a nice amount of pressure onto, uh, onto Sweden, making it really difficult for those releases. But unfortunately, they did lose a player. So uh, it's 5-3, uh, and you do not want a one-for-one one when you're down. Fifty seconds left of this first set of the second half. Ireland need to come up with something now. We have two girl, women down. And they do. Investing two balls and making the hit. Lovely shooting from Milner and O'Rourke. Now 26 seconds on the clock, one player down. Edvardsson is making it very difficult for Ireland. Oh! And number 80, Megan Parfit goes with a catch and gets hit and uh, she had to go for that because they were down 3-4, so it was a good decision, but she doesn't quite take it in, and uh, that was, uh, that was the, the win, make or break it of that set. Sweden 9-7 up now. Oh, there was a, uh, a false start on the Sweden side. A keen eye from line ref Keys there. Gives Ireland five balls and an opportunity to remove the deficit. They have to put their foot on the back line and it needs to be officiated when they're starting like this. Three balls, no hits, wonderful dodge from number 98, Edfordson in the middle. Now this is a, such a tight game, the two teams are really uh, sort of uh, counter, countering each other in a sense or uh, playing out the advantages, so uh, there's a catch there, but um, oh, and it does bring the fifth player back in.
It is five against five. The referee's just discussing something over from the Sweden side. Swedish girls, women, apologies, <laughs> discussing what to uh, what to do next, uh, who is throwing where and why. And uh, oh, Edvardsson has been called out. Uh, I'm sure Eagle Eye stream viewers will know the answer as to why. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not one of them. Parfit gets out of the way of two released from Sweden. They now have four balls and a player advantage. But they do not manage to capitalize on that possession. And uh, Brew Cousins walking in the back of the live stream. Uh, so I, it will just be me for the remainder of the game. Apologies, everyone. <laughs> Feel free to turn your audio off now. Two balls being released on uh, number 37, Nilsson for Sweden. They now have four balls on their side. Great dodging coming over. Oh, sorry, 31 Hansen, not Nilsson. It's, uh, it's quite significant the uh, the number of two balls that have been thrown and the uh, the lack of hits and I would not say it's down to bad throws I would say it's down to great dodges and uh, my point perfectly illustrated there by Joanna Novo for, Swi uh, for Sweden dancing past two balls and again Parfit getting out of the way of two it seems to be a, uh, a two ball release kind of set Oh, Chadwick steps on the line. She made a great block, but she did just step over. And they, uh, Ireland's, Ireland's advantage down to one woman. Two balls thrown, two dodged by Novo. 15 seconds, can they make the hit? Oh, and Milner is hit out. But there's still 10 seconds. Oh, and just five. And it's too late. Oh, it was so close. If they just had a second longer, it could have been a different way. It was uh, a draw in the end. So uh, with Sweden in the, in the driving seat with an additional set, we'll be happier with that result. Uh, but Ireland, only one set down, shouldn't be too disappointed by that. You must say that the Irish have done remarkably well considering that they're playing with five for most of the game. And uh, if you can hear a bit of a background cheer, it's because on the court right next to it, Scotland 2 have just defeated Scotland 1 in the semi-final. Five players for Ireland. Two released, and again a nice dodge. dodging of this game has really been uh, probably the greatest asset on show and that's the commentator's curse there, <laughs> apologies. Uh, the, second that, uh, the second that you say dodging is done uh, is good, Hansen's hit out. The bounce, the throw, wonderful hit by number 66, Rolfeld from Sweden. Ireland one woman up. Yes. 
two released, one hit. And just like that, Sweden have come back to even and out. Two versus two, but Ireland with majority possession of four balls. Great block, a lovely bounce. Number 66 hits Vicky Milner out of the court. Julia Rolfelt, she is a, she's a very fast player. You know that if you release on her, she's got a ball and you don't hit her, she is coming back at you. Teresa O'Rourke, can she do something here? Eight seconds on the clock, she's got to try something. Oh, and Rolfelt makes a wonderful hit on her knees. Rock did what she could. It's now 12-8 uh, to Sweden, but there is so much of this game left. It is, uh, it is just two sets. Lovely dodge and uh, number 40 wins possession. Emily Chadwick takes the, takes the fourth ball by putting that pressure on the wing. Lovely release and dodge from Vicky Milner. One minute 55 left in the set. Ireland just one player down, the same as how they started. Oh, lovely catch there. So much talent on display from that catch. Swings the, the play in favor of Ireland. And Heenan did such a good job to block the first one and the second one creeped underneath her ball. Ah, oh, Warburton steps in the right, but she can't get out of the way of a great shot. And Chadwick, you would expect her to make that catch most of the time, but uh, it's very unfortunate not to take that. And Ireland needs to be careful here. Um, the, uh, the line refs have seen that uh, the ball's been uh, not passed back a couple of times now. Sorry, it has been passed back a couple of times now. And uh, in European rules, it needs to be placed. Uh, the second a player is hit out, they need to be putting the ball down where they're hit. And this uh, creates an additionally exciting component when it comes to standing counters or hitting people out in the neutral zone. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Ireland could really do with a win in this set. Shines on it, and it's blocked. Five seconds, Shines got one last chance. Oh, lovely dodge there. Novo leaps out of the way, secures the tie. Should be. Still two sets and six minutes. Now, if, uh, if Sweden can run the clock down and uh, just obtain one point out of the next two sets, they should be securing a victory here.
15 minutes, thir 5 minutes 30 on the clock. Every hit is vital at this point of the game. Ireland, uh, they will be losing a lot more if they lose this set. Milner looks to take the ball, pressed back by the Swedish. Shine dodges out of the way of three. It was such a good hit from Chadwick on the counter, but uh, punished and retaliated by the player opposite. Brilliant hit from Shine. Carlson was just checking to see if she was hit. Uh, she was definitely going to accept the answer, but she did not see where the ball came from. Oh, a Milner hit. One minute 30 on the clock. Sweden one player up. What can they do? Oh, wow. Warburton releasing a strong arm, but she doesn't quite manage to make the hit. That would have been substantial. Nilsson standing high and strong. Shine looking for a running counter, but does not make it. Oh, and it looks like they're going to try and get that hit with these counters. Ooh, Warburton's throw dangerously close to, uh, to Novo. Looks like Ireland are going to stick with the running counter strategy. And that's 58 hits. And Nilsson's spike into the ground. Swings the set not to a draw, but to a win for Ireland. And that changes everything. They don't have a ball. 10 seconds left. Ireland just needs to stay alive in these dying seconds. Oh, wow. And Hansen steps on the line. Ireland takes the victory there, 13-11, and we're down to the last two minutes, 20. <laughs> Captain Megan Shine makes it very clear to her team, if they get a, one more set, it's a draw. Timeout called by the Swedes. Both teams will be very nervous about this last upcoming set. Two minutes, so if it is played fast, there is always time for a second, but uh, it will realistically be all on this last set. Uh, Sweden already starting with an additional player. They'll just need to hold out, stay alive. They can take a draw and they would win and go through. Whereas Ireland, it's all in nothing for them. They have to win this set, and if they do, they get to 13 each, and I believe it will go to overtime. Chadwick, Shine, Warburton, Lynch Hill, all line up. Alongside number 19 as well for Ireland, Heenan. 
the five players that can make it or break it for the Irish. Strong dodge, strong throw. And they so almost won four ball possession there, Ireland, early on. They were very unfortunate with the balls rolling back. Nice. Oh, and that is the first player out in this set, Nilsson, taken out. And that's a key one because she has been a real threat for the Swedes. Oh, so close. Oh, wow. And Heenan's throw is caught afterwards by Captain Carlson for Sweden. Very unlucky for Heenan. Four balls for Sweden. It's a hit and a hit. Oh, Chadwick looked like she was going to take the catch, but she didn't quite. She did secure the hit on Carlson beforehand. 5-3. Sweden have a two-player advantage, and there is 50 seconds left. And they've thrown every ball. Ah, oh, Warburton hits the line on the track back. Very disappointing. She's had such a good game, Warburton. And that's another hit, Lynch Hill. It's all on shine. And good honesty from the player. Very, very lovely to watch that. And Sweden celebrates. That was the deciding set. Sweden have now won that and should be going through to the fifth place playoff in the women's set. Uh, but there will be a 90 second set. The Irish looking to play for pride in this last one minute 30. been such a close match as well it's uh, really uh, the last set does not accurately reflect the game in in general I would say that uh, both teams look like they could win it at times and uh, ultimately playing with a player down because of a red card is a uh, it's a very tough thing to do and uh, I think if uh, if that didn't happen it uh, could have gone very differently and uh, it looks like neither player was hit in that exchange and uh, Shine against Nilsson has kind of been the matchup of the wings there. Very close, neither player hits. Oh, Nilsson tries to flick it up, but she's hit out by Shine. 30 seconds left, and there is one player in it. Oh, what an arm from Heenan. Phenomenal play. Oh, Warburton hit by two. Heenan jumps over one. Carlson secures the catch, and Heenan gets the cover. It's now down to two versus four. Five seconds, and that is, uh, that is it. That is the time. Congratulations, Sweden, to women going through to the fifth place playoff. Phenomenal, phenomenal play. Really hitting home bear advantage on the red card. Well played, Ireland. Playing with five players is never easy, and uh, I think they can all hold their heads very high after that performance. Well, I hope you all enjoyed listening to this uh, or watching it. Uh, definitely a better watch than a uh, listen from me. Uh, don't go anywhere as we have bronze medal matches coming up next in the North European Championship.
we go. Welcome everybody. Uh, we're watching the mixed match for fifth place uh, again uh, with Norway one and Ireland one. Yep. There's only one Ireland uh, in mixed. Uh, is that, is that true? No, no, no. There's a second. second yeah, Irish. yeah. Irish team. Just because there was no uh, no number in the, on yep. the screen after Ireland. Just Ireland and Norway playing in the uh, this fifth six. Um, I do apologise if uh, you're watching this and you feel like in your Irishing or following the Irish team, you feel like you've had my voice the entire time. It's no. not been intentional, just the way that uh, the you scheduling's gone. You just love gone. the Irish. Ah, uh, of course I do. You what can, I, what can I say? every match. But uh, this will be my first time watching the, the Norwegian team, which will be fantastic. Um, big result for them getting into the 5th-6 fifth, fifth, playoff. That's two wins for them, I believe, in this competition. So, great, great result for them. Um, I guess the one thing to highlight is uh, I think they've agreed they're playing, <laughs> they're playing uh, with two line refs. Um, just, a, just a bit of banter coming from the Irish team. Um, but yeah, they'll be playing with two line refs uh, today uh, just due to availability. I think uh, quite a few people have been drawn into the finals. So um. I think it's because they uh, put one team at like for every uh, court, but Denmark is a really small team. Ah, uh, okay. Because I feel so like yes, there's Denmark always are... this problem when it's Denmark. Okay, so Denmark are currently refing three different ma three different courts. But we do really appreciate them. Yep. So, yeah, we have yes, we do have two uh, two Danish referees, line referees, to help us out. Um, before we get started on the other courts in the final, Northern Ireland v Sweden. Northern Ireland currently 4-0 up. Uh, in the third, fourth playoff, Scotland won a 2-0 uh, up against Northern Ireland 2s. And of course, we'll keep you updated on the 5th, 6th game and as it gets starting. underway. I think it's going to be a very exciting match as well. Uh, Norway has done an incredible job in the uh, last game for today. Uh, they won with a golden set from Sweden too. Oh, and there's already a very nice catch from Larsen. He's definitely one to uh, look out to uh, from the Norwegian side. Very nice throw and uh, can catch a bit too. Back up to six for Norway. Three balls thrown. Two go right, one goes straight ahead. Gets the hit. And now they have four balls. Evens. Block and a hit, Woo! and the ball nearly takes us out in commentary. Fortunately enough, we've got our uh, dodging heads on. No, I feel like it—it uh, it was pretty uh, clearly on the camera because it hit the <laughs> bar like here. Yeah, Ireland, down one by down. One. Yeah. Norway, big oh. hit on sh Shine. Oh Key. no, Key. Getting a hit, that dropping the ball, big chance. and uh, O'Leary getting the hit on the other side as well. So, uh, uh, Chadwick unable to get the catch. 1v3, some great accuracy from Norway so far, good calling. Let's see uh, what O'Leary will do. Pre throw <laughs> into a block, dodges the other ball. <laughs> the ref also wanted to retrieve. <laughs> I think that bounce just in front. Yeah, I believe so too. No, the ref calls. No. Uh, Call hit. from the line ref down here. Two to zero for Norway. Norway. Yep. Who are we looking to? Uh, who are we looking for at the the Irish side, uh, Nick? Well, based on their last match, uh, Wilcock and um, Key made a really nice pairing on the wings. They were doing really well. Um, Obviously, uh, Chadwick is a great catching presence on the court. Yeah, well. yesterday we were at that match uh, too, right? Yep. That was incredible. Three balls for uh, Ireland off the start. Very slow though. Once the retriever has got it. Single ball release. And counter, nothing there. Three balls with Ireland.
single ball release. Oh, and a nice Counters punishing galore. sequence. And a catch from Sando. Oh no, Sando got out. This is uh, Lung's out, I believe. No, I have Ireland in my hand. <laughs> and Wilcock goes out. Yeah, that was Lund Haug with the catch. 6v4. And a nice uh, catch. Yeah, a bit of a poor throw. I think it came out of the hand uh, a bit funny. Slipped a little bit. Oh, and a nice hit Lovely on Larson double counter. and Lundhaug. McAfee looking for the, for the pressure there to get the hit when everyone was coming up for the ball. Great reaction from Norway to run up and get the ball, though. Now it's four against three. Yep, back in, the, back in this set. Big dodge. Ooh, oh, and a catch by what McAfee. A catch. And a hit by Shine gives four balls, three balls back. To, yeah, four balls back to Ireland. 4 2 up. Minute 15 left. Good coordinated yeah. throw. Gets the hit. Nice synchronized. On Prestmore. He throws the ball low. Ooh. He leaves that ball. Just, just got his hand out in time. Out yeah. Very close. And one a nice one. trade. Sets Ireland on the scoreboard 2 all. Will it be a game like this again? Like two. Maybe, may, maybe they'll keep trading. Um, have to have to see how it goes. I think. I think uh, Ireland have a couple of key players, which if they can keep on court, keeps them in the match longer or in the sets longer. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure about Norway yet. Um, need to need to keep watching and see how things develop. No one wants the middle ball. No. They will just uh, stay there then. Nice block. Nice block by Wilcock. Good communications to cover for it. Single ball release. Ooh. No hit. Nice, nice dodge. low dodge. Good pressure from Norway. Oh! Ooh. Trade oh and my trade and a lot of missed balls. That's what we call punishing sequence. <laughs> all five balls thrown. Just a shame they all uh, miss. You know, against Sweden too, Norway had a punishing sequence where they took out all the guys. Oh, great hit on Shine. Four to two. Uh, Ireland is up with two people. Oh, that? That okay. Hit first. oh okay. On the knee first. Referee was on. Oh, it. but there's another. A girl came in. Oh, the ref no says she has yep. to go out. Block of the feet. Another block by Key. Oh, she was and going for covers. the catch. Yep. This, this wind pairing of Key and Wilcox really working for them. Yeah. They're, they're loving their running counters and then the calls from the, uh, the center, whether or not to throw, really helping make their decision making. Norway with a timeout. Yeah, we've uh, we also saw this uh, with their match against Sweden that they, they took their time out really early. Uh, uh, but at the other match, it was the other way around where they had four and the other team had two, and they took the time out after they got their first. Uh, the other team got their first set. Uh, so I'm wondering what they're gonna talk about. Probably how they will handle Wilcock and Key. Um, you know. Have any thoughts? Yeah, I, I, it's an interesting time to take a time out. Uh, I guess, you know, Ireland have won two on the bounce. Um, they're still very much in it, only one set behind. I think most teams would probably call a timeout 
after losing three sets in a row. Uh, but we'll see how it works out for them. Ireland looking ready to go again. Yeah. In the meantime, in the, fin in the final, eight against two for Northern Ireland. Yep, and uh, Northern Ireland two, Scotland one. Oh, sorry, Northern Ireland two four, Scotland four in the third fourth playoff. And we started again. Three balls for Norway. Block into the ground by Wilcock. Oh, catch and a catch made from and a hit on Wilcock. That was so Balls collided in the air, but it took a deflection and meant that the uh, Norwegian player was able to catch it. There's a bit of chaos at the Norwegian side. They keep on uh, freeing, throwing balls alone. Oh, and, and it's a uh, nice just hit, hit on the side there. Hit. Double makes it a three all. That's set. fortunate for Ireland. Yep. Nice Great block, block by Shine. Woo! And a nice gazelle. Woo! Big. Very nice dodge by O'Leary. Big dodge in. Take a sit down, relax. We've got four balls. But Nordgaard can catch. She can oh, indeed. and there goes Lovely Larson. hit by Key on Larson. Gets the first dodge away. Nah, I feel like she's gonna make a catch. <laughs> yeah. Remember what happened last time you did this? I'm confident. And she got Sando back. Nice block. 50 seconds. Still, yeah, 50 seconds. That's all right. Two to three. Nice block by Key. Oh. One for one trade. High five. Will she do it again? I'm not going to say anything. Shine and O'Leary definitely know how to protect themselves. <gasps> oh, oh, lovely two that ball was attack. close. Lovely two ball attack. Yeah, 6-2 so to uh, Ireland. Yeah, 6-2. But we must say, Norway got a lot of chances. Yes, uh, yeah, it's not... Norway... Um, but they're definitely in this match. Got the ability. Just some really good countering from uh, Ireland. Their two ball attacks have been really good. Three balls, Three balls to Ireland. Ireland. And it, all five balls, I believe, were thrown there, and uh, the final ball connecting. Will caught with a high press. Hollinger a bit further back, putting in the fakes. I feel like the high pressure is really working for Ireland. You saw Larson throwing out from almost his side of the court. Oh, what and a catch! catch and out. What a fantastic catch! That Rebound catch off his shoulder into the air. His teammate didn't even notice. He was just drinking his water. <laughs> oh, good block. Blocked by Wilcock. Nice throw. And then blocked again from the Norwegians. Simple leg lift to get out of that one. Island to play it down. 
block all five balls. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wilcock baiting that ball out. How are they going to target the Norwegians? Three ball attack. Oh. Gets a single player out. Four against four. And we Indeed. have one minute and ten seconds left. Oh, nice hit. Nothing needed. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. Last ball for Ireland. A wing throw at the uh, Wilcock, able to crouch below. Three balls coming. Oh. A trade there. 30 seconds. Two, 30 against, seconds, two. two against two. Call comes in from Ireland. Block. Running counter. Oh, makes the that's hit. Too bad. Ah, I think uh, Larson will do something. He'll throw a ball to start with, and a second ball. Shine dodging both of them. Ooh, ten seconds. Can he do anything to secure the draw? <gasps> oh. Goes for the leap of faith. Gets hit on the way up. Oh, did the uh, did he hit her on her head? I didn't see it, but uh, Larson just going over and apologising and just making sure that Elyria is okay. So, um, lovely sportsmanship. We love to see it. Eight two to Ireland. Yeah, it's really important for Norway to uh, get a set now. Ireland getting the third ball. Lovely oh, catch. What a catch. And Wilcock uh, punishing as well, making sure he got the hit. And Larson. Hollinger safe. Oh, yeah! What a Lovely catch. catch. He saw her waiting for it. Yep. And he, saw, he decided to do it. Popped the ball up, brought it in. Throw from Wilcock. Oh, that's too bad. Wilcock able to block the counter. Two balls now with Ireland. Wilcock again targeted. Gets the trade. Nice trade, yeah. I think there was a ricochet hit at the back of court as well for Lorstad. It feels like the only way to get Wilcock out is by, by trading him. Yeah, just... Nice hit from Shine. Brings it now to three all. Good turnaround. Oh, Lovely that's hit. a nice hit. Shine just not quite able to get out of the way in the, in the bottom left. O'Leary looking for the rebound catch, but Chadwick unable to do it. Oh, she has. Uh... Oh wait. Just a... discussing. I think it hits the Norwegian player first. Is what the referee's saying. Yeah, They're because just I felt it. like uh, he was hit in the knee. I thought so as well, but we'll we'll see. It's up to the referee. Yep. The referee, make the call. So that hit on Island not counting because the player was already out. And that makes two against two. Yeah. Uh, two women at each side, so. Chadwick and O'Leary going up to throw. Ooh. Single ball throw. Yeah, double running counter. Oh! Catch and out. She keeps doing it. 
Yep, <laughs> 35. Play ball called. 25. Ooh. Push past. Yeah. Just waiting for them to make an attack. Oh, and, and a nice catch. catch. Good win for Norway to get back on, uh, get some momentum behind them again. After winning the initial set, it's been pretty quiet from them. Yeah, we have a little bit less than three minutes left. So Two sets uh, remaining. Yeah. Let's see if uh, Norway can keep this uh, momentum going. Hit. Lovely hit. Just past the block there. Great targeting. Wilcock targeted nice again. Punish. Just skims his hair. Hollinger, Hollinger gets the gets the protection off. A few substitutions. I think Kincaid and uh... yeah, they um, swapped Sando out and for Heenan are on. 97. Yeah. That's. Stan Black, sir. Who is that man? Yep. <laughs> Wilcox shouting praises to his teammates. No. <laughs> Hollinger feeling very energetic on this left wing. No. Good dodge by Kincaid. Good dodge, yeah. Good trade. Oh. And a catch from Larson. Yeah. Didn't need to release there, got the trade, it was all good. Brings it now to three all. Yeah, with two men at the Norwegian side. Oh, and a nice hit. Oh, and another catch. So Kay Heenan left to uh, 1v4, minute 20 left. Advice it's from the sideline is to take as long as possible. Draw this set out. If she can last the remaining minute, they will go in down, uh, up at 8 6 at half time. But she does have to uh, take the full time. And the Norwegians seem happy with that. They're yeah, just they don't going to seem to it. mind. They're just going to keep blocking it back. So I think we're going to watch 40 seconds of uh, single ball throws and blocks. Well, if both teams are happy doing it this way, then... Yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> and another block back. Four balls but now with Island. Larson starts to throw uh, at her now. Yeah, Larson getting a bit bored. Nah, the ref laughing. Because he knows exactly what's going to happen. Yeah. We've seen this before. He knows that she's looking to stall, so we'll call play ball sooner. And that is the half. Ah, oh, nice. 8-6 to Ireland. Yeah, and it's not against the rules to uh, to stall. No, so, no. Uh, well, it, it is because oh. you don't get play ball called. Yeah, yeah, but... But uh, there is a rule in place to prevent too much stalling. So uh, there's nothing to stop a player just blocking it back. Uh, so that's 8 6 to Ireland at half time on the other course. Why are they putting. Oh no, they put it away already. First, he put a 90 second set on the screen, but he, uh, uh, okay. it uh, disappeared already. Five minute half time. Scores on the doors are Northern Ireland 12, Sweden 6 in the final. Um, they are five minutes into their second half. Um, Scotland 1 are 10 6 up against. Northern Ireland 2 in uh, in the third, fourth playoff. They are just coming up to the end of their half time. So we'll be starting the second half shortly. Yeah. 
And, and I think it's seven all by the looks of it. Seven all between um, Scotland twos and Sweden twos, I believe, in mixed. My glasses aren't good enough. I feel like the no, it says whole other. Uh, oh, yeah, it's, a yeah, it's, yeah, it's, a, it's, on, it's on old a, school. Board. Yeah, old school card. I was watching at the screen and uh, there it said 1616. I was like, yeah, mm. no, wrong countries yeah. on that one. Oh so, yeah, oh yeah, that says uh, seven uh, seven seven. Nine, now nine seven Scotland. They just won that last yeah. set. However, on this court, uh, I think Norway can be pretty happy with their playing. They're in this set, this match. They're only one set behind. Um, definitely taking advantage of Ireland's lapses in con uh, concentration, uh, making so many catches. The catching from this Norwegian team has been fantastic. Yeah. Um, I saw a bit of it at the Europe uh, European Championships, but uh, it's been magnificent on display today. Yeah. So what? Uh... What would you say to the uh, to the Ireland uh, team? To um, if they've already made a hit on a running counter, don't throw again. That's, uh, uh, that's very clear. They they've uh, they, they've had a couple of times they've done a running counter and uh, it's just they've released at two different targets and especially when one's already been released and they've made a hit, the second player does not need to make that throw. Um, they've already got that player up advantage from that uh, that counter. But uh, I think the second half could be very interesting. See what Norway bring out. It's a good team talk going. They look very focused. Yeah, and they've got, uh, you know, they won the last two sets, so yeah, I think they feel good. Yeah, behind them, yeah. And, uh, well, I don't see them all smiling, but uh, I think they're happy. <laughs> yep. Looks like they are trying to discuss blocking technique and just making sure that uh, the team are clear on what to do when blocking getting down low into yeah a nice squat position and, because uh, that's that's one thing that iron does really well like their blocking is yeah uh, and really their throws good. have been getting underneath a, a few of the blocks from the norwegians as well so yeah. but all to play for in the second half sir all to play for in the second yeah, half. yeah for sure Correctly, that the the refs were also uh, writing down the scores. Um, that's just in case the screen stops working. I, yep, I think. I believe so. Yeah. And also for official purposes, oh, I think. Okay. I think they have a score sheet they have to hand in. So. Um, to see which set uh, was won by who. Yeah, I'm not, like. sure, I'm not sure. I don't know what. Uh, I, I don't know what the score sheets look like in in. Uh, in European dodgeball, uh, I am not sure if there uh, if there's a few issues with the scoreboard right now. Uh, I know they're trying to get the uh, the app working. Oh yeah. So bear with us while they fix the scoreboard. I think they're going to ask uh, another ref. Yeah, they've got the they've got the remote control. Oh no! It's going to fall. Just as yesterday. <laughs> they think. Uh, oh, Ireland is uh, making some swaps, aren't they? Yeah, a few changes it appears. 37 on. Well, I believe that Norway is using quite the same squad. Uh, difference is Norway has less players than Ireland, so also less options to swap, but. Second half underway now, 8-6 to Ireland. Third ball for Ireland. Reminder that uh, Norway going into the half time with a bit of momentum. 
I think Ireland wanted to make a quick, a quick attack, but uh, Woody Wilcock didn't get the ball uh, quite right. Single ball release. No target found. Cross court throw from Lindhag. Oh, nice. Black Seth and key trading. Good trade. Uh, they're just checking whether it hit or not. I think, I think the ref's saying it. Oh yeah, and because they only have two line refs, there was yeah. there was only a line ref at the left side of the field and on the right side where he was standing. Um, yeah, still hit. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't think he was questioning it. Obviously, he can see after he's thrown, so uh, was just waiting for confirmation. Single throw from Heenan. Some oh, trades nice. and balls go flying, but uh, Lundhag, unfortunately, the uh, the recipient of a hit there. Yeah, Larson went for the cross court, but ducked very nice underneath it. Oh, lovely hit again on the feet. Hollinger sniffs out the blood and uh, it's taken two hits already. No. Wilcock. I Are they going to say something to... about her not putting the yeah, ball down? Yeah, this is going to be a card for not putting the ball down. They are looking for the cards. So she's out. She needs to go into the out box. Yep. Uh, yep. She just uh, di yeah didn't put the ball down properly. Yeah, I've I've seen her done it before. So I think the refs like gave her a couple chances uh, to like do it right. Yeah, it, it happens. Um, I think a few people. It's uh, once you've been hit, it's uh, can can be difficult to remind yourself to yeah. calm down and just place the ball down. I can imagine, but this is very this is unfortunate for. Uh, uh oh. Oh, that was unfortunate for Larson. He went. Yeah. He, he had no other choice. He had no choice. He did have to run forward. He was just explaining to the ref that he wasn't trying to be. Uh, he wasn't trying to be mean by running forward. He was doing it to try and regather his ball. Island see that one off. 10-6 stops the momentum. Of, uh, yeah, and Norway. they have to start with five now. They do, yes, just for this set. Uh, Larson just checking with the ref. Uh, at what point would he have been out already? <laughs> Loud noises from the court over as uh, Scotland uh, bring a set back. I think they're now 14-6 up. Three balls for Ireland. Wilcock with a quick start there. Probably could have taken a few more steps there, but get a bit closer to the target. Yeah, because the the woman from Norway is quite far up the court, uh, yeah. and she didn't have a ball herself, so yeah. it was quite easy to take maybe another step. Maybe he just wants to get the throw off before any cover was there. Nice hit. Gets his hit in the end. Oh, Shine. And a great cr Oh, that was great. I mean, I have no idea if that hit him because it hit the ball in front of him, but um, Key definitely taking the out. But uh, oh, for all Wilcock, that's a great hit, just hit on the hit on side. The hit. And just like that, Norway are back up. Some great play, taking advantage of uh, some accuracy there. Good trade. Good trade, yep. Norway will take that when you're up trades will get you the win. Yeah, especially if you trade a man for a man. Yep. Lovely pre-throw from Larson. Taking out Kincaid. Play two balls called. You have to throw another. Say throw from Presmo. Heenan with three balls. Nice, underneath the block. A two ball free throw, or two ball group throw, getting the hit. That was a great set. 
for Norway. Yeah, they even were. Even though they started with five. Yeah, started with five and they got the win. I'm not quite sure what the referees are discussing. She can go in again, right? It's like the current set and the. No, set I think they are the swapping referees. Oh. Okay. I think Denmark have to go because they have a match to get ready for. Oh. Oh, so they have to look for other line refs. Ah, uh, that's quite so unfortunate. So they're, they're, asking, they're asking the Scots if they can ref. Yep, yeah, Scots are here. Way. Scots are saving the day. Uh, now we have more refs than we need, so... Um, no, they all want to. Yeah, everyone's... Have to do a rock, paper, scissor to uh, yep. decide who uh, gets the line ref. Anyway, we have a full, full set of referees now. Big thanks to the Scots for helping us out. Ten eight to Ireland. Norway doing really well to Three win that set Ireland. after starting with five. Back up to six now. Ooh. Two balls released, no hits. Yep. Nice block from Wilcock. Oh, Lovely that's a hit nice from hit. Key. Good punish. Oh, oh what great, a catch, great catch from, from Larson. Larson. Thought he had uh, Hollinger thought he had him unawares from coming at the angle, but somehow managed to get his body around it. One for one trade. Five against three. Norway up with two players. Oh, that was a nice pop. hit. On to Black Seth. 3 4, Island down. Hit on O'Leary. And Nordgaard as well. Oh, yeah, bounce. bounced in front of him. Dodges all round. Reset at the back of court. Three balls with Ireland. We have one minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Plenty of time. Oh. Lovely shot from Wilcock. Right on the knee and Presmo. He was really looking for that. To Larson throw his ball and then uh, get a free hit. One for one. Oh. Catch and out. Yeah. Set to Norway. 10 all. That was a great way to uh, win the set. Yep. Now it's 10 to 10. And we will have 12 minutes and 40 seconds ish. That means around. Four five, sets. Four, 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 five, yeah, something about that. I think if uh, if Norway takes this set, uh, Ireland is maybe going to take their time out. Yeah, I imagine so. I imagine so. Oh, Double hit. great 
like getting oh double oh that's even better lovely Ooh. dodge by key oh nice going for trade. the trade as well i think that the irish players questioning if he wasn't already hit before he yeah threw. lovely hit there as well from leary onto the fold Norway one up. Gets the blocks away. Oh, and oh, a hit. That was a good hit between his feet. I thought that bounced, but uh, good honesty. <gasps> oh, and the catch on Larson. What? What? What happened there? Hit his uh, hit his chest. Popped up. He dropped the ball, which he's oh. allowed to do, to then make the catch. Yeah. No, I uh, I thought that O'Leary also uh, threw a ball at him and that he somehow caught two, but that's not the case. No, no, it's just one. Safe throw into the invalid. goal. Oh, invalid called. A little harsh, I think, but, um, no. you know, referee's cool. You know, we have a very good spot uh, to see like how close everything yeah, is. Yeah, positioning. Double running counter gets Sordal. Unfortunate with that one. She did everything she could to uh, get up and make herself uh, skinny. Double throw Ooh, and, and a line, line fault. Yeah. Island back in the lead, 12-10. This is a very tight game. No one really uh, in ascendancy with uh, with. With play style, it seems very much to come down to each set by set. Sometimes yeah. there are a few things happening in each set which basically decides it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a case that like one team is catching all the time or like doing one thing that. Uh, yeah, it's really beating the other team. It yeah. Is very much. Um, oh now Norway has stopped running for the third ball. <gasps> Ooh. Oh no! Oh, Larson. and that's that's four. Four out. Trade, trade, and trade. Like, that gives uh, Norway four balls. That's a great opportunity. Two ball attack, Ooh. one onto the ball, one going wide. That great was... hit. Threw the block onto the knee. Yeah, I think the the Norwegian uh, women are still having some difficulties with blocking the balls from the Irish yeah, people. Yeah, just need some some practice with that speed. Yeah. Lovely throw from Sando, just going low through oh, the nice through the legs. Hit. No hit. And uh, Shine missing that throw. Uh, quite a catch lovely from Leary, yeah. Catch. Lovely on the back track. London Howard will be upset with that one. Just didn't get the placement right. I'll tell you what, this Norway team have come on leaps and bounds from uh, from Ozijek. Really great to see. Block there from Jensvold. Four balls now with Ireland. I can't believe there's still one minute and 15 seconds left. I felt like this it set has been, been going. Yeah. yeah, a lot's happened in it. Yeah, but because like there were so many catches, like people going in and out. Single ball release, three balls with Island. Ooh. Oh, great hit. Bit risky, but saw he was holding two balls. Couldn't do much. Timeout call from Norway. I can imagine. You know what? It's it's done well. The the Norwegian timeouts have been, you know, working for them. They have been able to get in. They've been able to regather and uh, and do something about it. So. Yeah. Um, now there's only a two set difference. Uh, it's not a very big deal. Uh, they still have eight minutes left. Yeah, uh, I think we'll see, I think we'll see three sets, and uh, you know, three sets means that one team will win. Yeah. Most likely, unless there's a draw set. Draw yeah, set. and I think it's just uh, 
very important for them to win the first set, you know, to get, get the momentum started and then pull through. Yep. I feel like in the, the last couple sets, you know, uh, for example, Larson had some balls that they just didn't get, uh, and if like uh, the coin fell the other way, uh, he would have gotten it, and it would would have ended differently. Hands in as we uh, get ready for the last eight minutes, unless and Ireland take a timeout. On the other fields, we have Scotland 1 against Northern Ireland 2, 18 to 10 for Scotland. And, and uh, six minutes left on that match. 13 19 for Sweden and Northern Ireland. And that's the final score, I think. Yeah. Northern Ireland winning the gold medal. Nice hit on Serdal. Nice block from Wilcock on the corner. These wingers are uh, really having a go at each other in this uh, this match in uh, taking a chunk out of each other. Yeah. Really, really quite competitive. Matches basically decide on who gets the winger out first. All set. Lovely hit from Key. Yes. And Sando. Uh, uh, Sando getting hit on the back, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good honesty, afraid. really good honesty. Shine getting the trade there. Oh. Wilcock throwing Ooh, the ball the in between them. Scottish line ref is. She was doubting if it was a line fault, but she she keeps her mouth shut. Okay. So no. Uh, no, I think she was just conferring with, uh, with the other one. So I think it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Nice block. Mm. Heenan getting the ball down low by Norgard's right foot. Oh, Double and block. that was a nice hit on Wilcock. Nothing seen. Uh, I think that was a block. Oh, uh, no. Double hit. Unfortunate. I, I honestly thought she brought that into the hug there. But uh, no, apparently a hit. That's very unlucky. Yeah. Larson last in. Yeah. Larson will, uh, will want them to throw at him. Oh. He goes for the catch. Yeah. Island 16 10 up. Best thing to do. Good, really important set for Ireland to win there. Really important set. Yeah, referees just uh, showing how close uh, Aliri was to uh, line faulting there. Yeah. Um, if they, uh, if Norway hurries up, they can still uh, need to win these sets quickly. Yeah. Possible. And then, well, maybe we can Very go difficult. to a golden set. Maybe. Norway not contesting that middle ball. Ireland getting all three. Willing to take their time, of course. Oh, a collision. Dodgeballs connect balls. and Key gets Sando out. Larson throws towards Wilcock and Wilcock blocks it down. Oh. Throw, throw, throw. One hit. Two hits. Lundhaug and McPhee. Brilliant nice dodge by Wilcock dodge. getting over the three balls there. Ah, he got all smiles. Yep. Feet made of springs, apparently. Mm. I uh, I can feel a catch uh, coming. Oh, too bad. Wilcock taking Larson out. Sordal also getting hit out by the two two throws. Prasmo and Nordgaard le left. Targeting Wilcock. They really want to get Wilcock out. Yeah, there's been a lot of uh, focused attack on Wilcock. Great hold. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cresmo trying to get the hit. Don't think he got, don't think it hit key. Catcher, catcher. <laughs> I yep. can hear it Irish Catcher, side. catcher. catcher. Oh, and she did indeed make the catch and get hit. Catch, catch and out. I that was to me that was a catch and out. It was the first ball. I I didn't even see her catching yep. that one. 
Yeah. Catching out. Let's go, Sando. Everyone on the back line. 112 remaining of the set. Lovely catch. Bounced. Sando blocking. No hit. Keys okay. will go wide. He gets the block off. Double running counter no, gets hit on Sando. 18 10. Pretty much confirms the uh, the win for, for Ireland, but of course both teams will want to see this out as best they can. Oh, a timeout. Timeout called by Ireland. Maybe just to uh, discuss, they've done well and uh, basically uh, won the game. Oh, impressive throw from off, off court. One of the balls had gone from uh, our court, two no. courts over. <laughs> Good old Yeet from the Northern Irish gets it all the way to uh, this court. Spirit's still high in the Norway camp, I believe. They've done really well in this match. Yeah. And it I looks like they've been in quite a few of them like this. They've uh, really, really impressed. Yeah, and I think they're just super happy to uh, get this uh, sixth place. Uh, I think it, they've done really well. They've done fantastically uh, yeah. well. Really, really good to see. And uh, we've seen uh, a lot of good stuff. Uh, Especially if we look at, to, at Worlds, uh, which is still a couple months away, they can show some good stuff there. Yep, several several substitutions. Wilcock off, Key off. Uh, I believe uh, Nunn's on, and now. Uh, Norway is really focusing on the corners of Ireland. Huckins, Huckins is on. That was the other one. Sorry. Hmm? <laughs> Trying to work out who uh, 24's name was. Huckins. Oh yeah. Yep. Ooh. Oh, Soda looking for the catch there, unable to to catch it before the second ball comes in. Oh, and then, oh! Oh, nearly a catch by Pressmo. I thought she had it there. Yeah, me too. Nice hit on... Nun, unable to get it. Unable to block it. Loses control of the ball. 4-3. Block away. From Huckins. Yeah, four against three. Ireland one player up. Sando getting hit. <laughs> McAfee just missing. Lyroff getting hit. Yep. Oh. Hit. Just last and left. Let's see what uh, Larson can do for the Norwegian team. Final score on the other court, Scotland 22, Northern Ireland 12, I believe. Larson sends the ball. So uh, our uh, first podium is uh, Set, that's clear yep. for us. Yep. At third place, Scotland Not one. Yep. Second place, Sweden won. And first place, Northern Ireland won. Oh, Great dodge nice from dodge. Larson. Puts himself in a place where he wants to try and make the catch, but gets out of the way instead. Single ball throw towards Shine. Misses. It's going to roll back. Larson throws. Gets a block off by McAfee. 
And it suddenly goes very quiet in the arena. <laughs> Back the underarm throw into the shins. And be a final 90 second set, 22 10. 20, 20 10, sorry. Yeah. Final 90 second set. if anyone's bleeding blood on one of the balls I believe oh. so just to check happens more often than you think when you're going for a catch and you end up scratching yourself yeah yeah uh, I know I've had it a couple times three yeah. balls to Ireland yep Gets her, oh, unlucky. Oh, she was She's been so close to that. some fantastic catches. Oh, Blacksmith unable to make the catch. Rebound and catch rebound from Heenan. Catch. Well, how good and fortunate there. Lovely rebound catch. Oh, she's been so close. Sando unable to <laughs> jump out for that ball. Just leaving Norgard in. Well, at least he uh, exited the field yep. with a bang. <laughs> In style. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Norgard uh, hit there. That. That's That'll do it. it. Full time, 22, 24, I don't know, 22 island. Norway, 10, a win for the uh, Irish, claiming fifth place. Yeah, so we can now continue the podium with fourth place, Northern Ireland 2, fifth place, Ireland 1, and sixth place, Norway 1. I thought it was a great game. Yeah, it was a fantastic game. Norway uh, really did well. Ireland were very good at seeing, seeing it out. I think they're very happy with the fifth position. Uh, the Irish, well deserved. Yeah, they based should on some be. Of their yeah. match, uh, match play. Uh, so I think we're gonna uh, leave because other courts, uh, other matches at other courts are starting very soon. Uh, so we'll see you there for the yep. men's I finals. I believe you had like like everything from men. Yep. So, so like all men's finals. all men's matches now going to be streamed, finishing with the women's. Yeah, so uh, make sure to watch and uh, thank you for watching. And see you later. Yeah.
scoreboard is wrong, yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, you're watching the men's division. Sweden 2 against Denmark 1. Yep, Denmark 1. And they're playing... Denmark Red Raiders. Yeah, and they're playing for the seventh place. You know better I, than I yeah, do. <laughs> I, uh, I'm quite sure. Uh, I still don't see line refs. Yep. Oh, but no race. No race here. No race here. I just. And I find it so nice to see every game that uh, Denmark can uh, use some retrievers from other teams because they yep. uh, have too mad, not enough players to retrieve themselves. Yep, so they have one retriever from themselves, a, uh, a friend wearing a Scottish shirt, but I don't believe he's from Scotland, um, and Lena as well from, the, from Sweden helping bore a tree for them. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, on the stream, but uh, in person, um, it says Sweden 1 v Scotland 2. Um, Scotland 2 in this case will be Denmark, uh, just because the naming's wrong. But it is definitely Denmark that are playing. Scotland 2 are playing elsewhere. A lot of faking by Sweden 2. Big running counter. Oh, nice trade. Gets the trade. Lovely oh, shot. Nice hit. I don't think he could have jumped any higher. No, he, he got <laughs> he got his feet higher than his waist. Yeah. Really impressive. So it's three against four. Uh, Sweden one player up. The Sweden team, from what I've seen them before, can be quite quite erratic with their decision making, but um, definitely some good talent on the team for sure. And this is uh, the Sweden's seconds team, of course. The Sweden's ones are currently in the third, fourth playoff against Northern Ireland ones. Yeah, that's a, that's a rematch, actually, because they played each other in the group phase as well. Ah, yes. Which uh, tied, so... Uh, yeah. Still three to four, uh, Sweden one up. Let's see. We still have a minute and 20 seconds to go, so... Plenty of time. Oh, good punishing. Yep, good honesty. Clips him on the feet. But they do have four balls now. So that should give them an opportunity. Woo! And dodge. they miss. Malin gets back behind the ball. Pushes them back with a running counter. Three ball attack. Two balls go left. Oh, and nice. Two hits. They have to be careful with Moden. He's uh, very good at uh, deceiving the opposition of where he's going to throw and also uh, oh. he's um, very strong with leaps of faith. Good dodge there. Busk avoiding that one. Still has uh, 25 seconds to go. Hit there on Malin. They should be careful now, 10 seconds. Don't need to do anything. They are going to be called to throw. Oh. And a hit there. I really thought he was going to catch that. He I thought so, so too, ready. yeah. He was, he was set for it. Yeah, so good set uh, for both the teams. Very really close. Uh, good, good, uh, good comeback from Denmark to win that one. Yeah. Really, from uh, when they were down. Are there Three some um, 
players in the Swedish uh, second team that have played other big international events, do you know? Uh, definitely Modin has. Um, he's been around for, for a bit, I've seen him play. Uh, the others I don't recognise. I mean, I think Carlsen has, uh, number 57. Oh. Um, I could be wrong. Johansson apparently comes from a foam background, but he has been fantastic for the seconds. Uh, definitely an up-and-coming talent. I'm sure you'll see him in the first very soon. Woo. Maybe a world's already? Uh, we shall see. <laughs> Maybe. He has been good for them. Ooh. Looks for the catch. Once again, Merlin left in. Really good decision not to throw. Uh, from Mayland caught with his back turn. Busk getting hit there on a the nice. two ball attack. Denmark was really uh, convincing in this uh, set. Yeah, it's been a bit a bit chaotic from Denmark. They haven't quite figured out their organisation, but for somehow they are uh, they are making the hits. And that's what's important. Yeah. Good competition for the middle ball. Yeah, just uh, have to make sure they're not uh, making it too chaotic. Yep. Uh, but for now, they're fine. Three balls again for Denmark. Woo. That was an interesting dodge of like his arms above his head. Yep, maybe it helps pull him up. Yeah. It Ooh, works. Lovely good shot hit. on the inside thigh. You can hear it hit his uh, knee pad. Ooh. Ooh. Punish on Johansson there from, uh, from Glenstead. Great decision of uh, Elwas to uh, keep his hands off of the ball flying over his head. Yep. There. What a oh, catch! catch. Catches it in his thigh. Oh. Fantastic shot. Then hit by Glenstead. One player left at the Danish side, Mayland. Block on the pre-throw, Mayland avoids the shot. Ooh. Lovely punish yeah. there. Johansson unable to hold the block, but doesn't matter. Sweden Bar definitely fours. had the upper hand in this uh, this set. Yep, some good good throws. Good uh, that catch from Odin really changed it. Yeah, took two players out in one go there. The score is four two to Denmark. Just under well seven and a half minutes played. That was very fast. Three balls for Denmark. And again, three balls. Ooh, oh, catch. Lovely catch from, uh, from Glenstead. Ooh, I was thinking like, ooh, he's staying there for quite a long time, but... He knew what he was doing. Otherwise, unable to uh, avoid that one. Putting in the fakes. Denmark now has three balls. It's five against four. Sweden one player up. Oh, nice hit and a Lovely catch Lovely cross court Maiden. throw and catch. Pushed back in. Nice hit. 
he thought, oh, he was so ready. Well, able to make the catch. 3v3. Great pressure. Woo. That was close. Still 1 minute 40 on the clock. Plenty of time. Ooh. Cross court throw. Nearly gets Busk. It will just keep his feet. Oh, great catch. Player tracked, tracked him dodging, but was unable to put it anywhere else. Yeah, handsome, a little eager there. <laughs> Gets the ball, puts, goes up to cover. No one's cover. Cross court throw. Ah, Glenn Stay getting hit it. on the shoulder. Oh. oh. <laughs> Mayland uh, avoids the uh, the jump from Carlson. Leap of faith. Mayland apologises Only to the ball retriever. To go. Block into the floor. 35 seconds. Safe throws. Yeah, really safe throws from Sweden. Oh, nice block. Sweden back up to four all. Yeah, it's gonna be a close game, I think. Do you know what I find confusing about the, the Danish shirts? It's because their name is on the bottom. Yeah, but some of them have it on top. Oh, yeah, some some of them have yeah. Denmark uh, above the number and their name under the number. Yeah, right. And exactly. some of them have it switched uh, the other way around. Yeah, you are, yeah you're right. Uh, don't know, don't I know think why. Maybe it's like the difference between people who played Euros, they had maybe still had their old shirt and then they yeah. made new ones and they turned around. Interesting kit, an all red kit. Three balls for Denmark. Oh, nice hit. Two hits. Oh, and a and catch. A catch. Oh, 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 Mayland. That was great. That was beautiful. Five against two. Denmark, three players up. Six, two. Oh, six, two. The yeah. catch. I was already anticipating the one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> you are a mind reader. You can see the future. <gasps> oh, no. Oh. And after that, 4-2. Oh, that's high pressure. <gasps> nah, a trade. That's that's good. Yep. Knew he wanted to just get him down to one player. Two player, the running counter is still a, a, a big threat. Good placement. Yep. Carlson unable to uh, do anything with that ball as it comes down on his right foot, but uh, high fives. Just apologising for the little bit of a late throw just to make sure he was out. All good. And Denmark takes a set again. So it's 6-4 six yeah, four six four. for Denmark. People changing round. Clench that off. I feel like it's really depending on the, the catches that are made. I feel yeah, like the, the overall level of playing is uh, quite at the same level. But like the catches are really making a difference. Wilkins on as well, playing inside right. Whoop. Dodges out of the way, Alouaz also dodge. skips. Four balls for Denmark. Two ball attack, gets nice. Modena straight away. That was great really targeting. well timed. Really great targeting. Good player to get out, I think, early, early in the set as well. And another... Soaking up the uh, the four balls. 
three balls now. Another attack from uh, Denmark. Oh, and he missed oh, the catch. Gets the hit, one for one. They'll take that. And they have four balls again. Five, three. That, this is really fortunate for... Oh. Might have been better if those balls were thrown at the same time, but... Oh! Uh, Wilkins plants himself for the catch, but pops up. Nice hit. Not quite sure what Carlson was doing there. He looked at it, tried to duck into it, and just gets hit square on the side. Don't know either. Oh, what a what catch. A Fingertip catch. catch. He didn't even need his body to secure the catch. He just... Sharp back in. Maiden's playing very well today. Lovely block from him. <coughs> yeah, five against one. And one minute 20 in the clock. Sharp puts a very low ball in. Skims off the floor. Safe throw, line fault called. Oh, okay. Great set. I think time out from Sweden. Yeah. Yeah. Much better from Denmark. I think they're uh, obviously having the four balls really helped. But I think their the targeting of who from Sweden they were getting out in, in what order was really important. Yeah. Um, I do think moden has been very dangerous when he's been the last player in. Uh, so getting him out first has been a, a big win for them in that set. Yeah, really good decision. Them. A few updates on the other courts. Uh, Northern Ireland men 6-0 up against Scotland 1 in the men's final for the gold medal. The uh, bronze medal match just made six all between Sweden one and Northern Ireland twos. Ooh. As you um, say, a rematch of uh, rematch of the group stages. And on the far court, it looks like Republic of Ireland two. first team against Scotland seconds, and Scotland seconds are currently four two up. Yeah. <coughs> Meanwhile, back on this court, 8-4 to Denmark. Two balls for Denmark. Block away. Sharp makes the call. Ball down the middle. <laughs> Wilkins nice able to catch, catch it oh. and block it. <laughs> and three balls. Fantastic catch and block. Yeah. Really good jo job of making the catch and securing it one oh, What a catch. Oh, oh, you love to see it. Does the splits and catches it in midair. Second time uh, he uh, catches the ball uh, in the air. I felt like maybe they could have uh, Denmark could have uh, helped pressure when the ball was like, like lying in their field, yep. uh, so they couldn't get it. That was left for dead there in the middle of the court. No cover coming. Svensson dodging that one. Oh. Wilkins oh, also put himself in no man's land, throwing a ball away. No cover, or well, no real cover anyway. Two ball attack. Get their hit. Nice one. Oh, and they got the ball back by accident. Yep. Nice cover. Oh, Spence that was. Spencer hit on the toe there. That was good. To the ground in front of Sharp. Sweden is uh, three men up, so. Uh, 
Dangerous ricochet there. <laughs> Almost hit a Sumo. Yeah. <laughs> They've moved Johansson around. They've, it seems they've moved a few players around on court. I don't. I don't know if that was uh, tactics, but they. I think, they, I think so. I think they're just up to now. Avoid, so yeah. Avoid maybe some works. Players. Yep. Not subbing Great them dodge. off. Just moving them into a different area on court. Ooh. Nearly there. <laughs> Block into the ground. That was just shame. dropping it. <laughs> Rolls the ball away as the uh, the clock expires. Ninety oh, second yeah. set. Score is eight six to uh, Denmark. Good opportunity here for. Uh, for Sweden to get back and, and find themselves level at halftime. Yeah, uh, that would be great for them. Yeah. Quick team talk from uh, Coach Strom. I was thinking, is there a theory that if like you have one opponent left, uh, he has all the balls, that you then always duck because then the ball can pop up? Yeah, it could be, could be valid. Could be valid. Lovely catch oh, again. Catch. He's loving those ones that are coming at thigh height. Got I, long arms to take them in. I really missed why number 20 is out. Did he go out by the start? Yeah, he line faulted oh, on the middle ball. Uh, that's middle ball a shame. So. Oh, again. he keeps getting them. It's the same position on him every time, though. It's just that thigh height type shot. Yeah. At his waist. Oh. Lovely catch by Wilkins. Showing how easy it is. Oh. And Svensson, as he walks back on, not paying attention. That was a. Uh, well, quick second on fame. I feel a catch. Not quite as good as you at predicting those. No. I didn't feel it. Ten seconds now remaining. I do feel it. Free throw. Gets a hit. Five seconds. Ooh. That'll be time. And that's it. Yeah, Eight that's all right. at half time. That's a great score to work with. Uh, in the meantime, other courts. Uh, it yeah. looks like it's uh, on the far court between Scotland and uh, Ireland. It looks like it's 5 all, but uh, I'm not sure if that's true. Yeah. Um, in your men's men's final, Northern Ireland 10, Scotland what, a 0. Yeah. Um, five minutes left of the half. And it's also halftime uh, here at the Sweden 1 and Northern Ireland 2. Yep, one set in it, 8-6 to Northern Ireland 2 currently. Yeah, I think it's going to be just as close as yesterday. I imagine so, I imagine uh, so. But the good thing is they can't tie today. No, we will have a winner. Yeah. There was a, a few discussions about what happened from the Sweden side that may, meant that they gave away that last set for the draw. But um, in, interesting, just some, some some silly mistakes costed them. But uh, yeah, be interesting to see how this match goes on the, to the right of us. Yeah, I think they're uh, trying to make sure that they won't make uh, those silly mistakes today. Yep. Yeah, a few discussions were had, I believe. <laughs> But eight all here. It's been um, very well. One team wins two sets. The other team wins two sets. Then yeah. it goes back and forth. Yeah, it's not one and one. It's uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> now the referees having a, a bit of fun. They've uh, they've been very good today. Uh, the uh, Norwegian dodgeball team uh, refereeing currently. They've uh, been very very careful on the lines. Been watching them 
with some beady eyes I've been seeing. But I think everyone's a little bit tired after after today. It, it does make you wonder how on earth uh, everyone survives Euros. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how will they survive Worlds later this year? Well, you have, at Euros, you have less matches today. Yes, you do. Well, do you? I think there was only three matches for each team yesterday. Maximum. If you're in a group of four, you only have three matches. Yeah, and at Euros, you have either one or two per division at, in one day. Oh, cool. yes. Because the group yeah. group phase is two days. Yeah. Uh, unless you're like the men's sometimes have a group of five and then they have two each day, but usually it's one day one and one day two. There you go. Some push-ups on the Danish side. Uh, maybe uh, get the pump sh on. showing off. <laughs> uh. Psych out the opponent. Trying to uh, show uh, their dominance uh, <laughs> by doing uh, or just stretch whatever it. that is. <laughs> Referee also stretching out. Yeah. He also has to stand like the whole way. Yeah. Very mentally taxing. And I think Sweden is ready. Yeah. We were. I was uh, having a chat about this with uh, Julia. Is there a rule that says, like, about if you have to wait for the five minutes when? If both teams are ready, then both teams are ready. You just play. There's no rule about it. No. Okay. it unless one one team specifically wants to wait the full five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Um, then, then yes, you have to wait the full mark five minutes. But uh, yeah, both teams here ready to go. Yeah, because with the 30 seconds, you can't say we're both willing yeah, to go. No. We're it's, going. Yeah. There we go again. Johansson for the middle ball and gets it. Yes. Murder down the middle, just into the ground, in between the legs. Ooh, loses the ball. Malin coming up. Dodgeball. <laughs> big, the big bang as uh, two balls collide midair. Yeah, it happened. Uh... I think in our last match as well. A lovely Ooh. shot from Wilkins and punish from Awaz. Good punish. Davis and Halstead out. Oh, lovely nice. cross court shot by Johnsby. Yeah. That was right on the back heel. That was fantastic. Yeah. Safe throw in front of Johnsby. I always admire like players who uh, dare to like wear their glasses on court. Yes. Uh, because I would be frightened. Yep. Free throw gets the hit there. I'm oh, in. Ooh, nice dodge. The two balls cross right in front of Palmet. Three against five. Denmark, two players up. Oh. That was hit. Yep. Still has the instinct to dodge the ricochet ball. Yeah, you know. Mayland into Johnsy's block. Yeah, don't do it for the, the, the opponents. You do it for yourself. You know, oh, yeah, dodging. of course. <laughs> it's for style. Woo! Wilkins looking for the punish there. Palmer then looking to hit Wilkins, but uh, unable to connect. Yeah, still one minute and 15 seconds. Plenty of time. Oh, that was nice. I oh. think that bounced. Oh! Oh, no, they're, they're calling a hit. I thought it bounced uh, about a meter in front of him, to be honest, but uh, no, both... Both referees calling it. It's uh, hard to see where it bounces up here. Yeah, for sure. It's a difficult angle. Referees definitely can see better than us. Do not take our word for it. Oh, nice hit. Lovely on punish. Johnsby. It's only Johansson right now. Great play. I feel though. a catch. Oh, no. Good throw. Denmark back to 10 8 up. Some Swedish fans above us. Just as the Swedish flag. Yep, draped, uh, draped down behind us. Nice. 
third ball for Sweden. Three balls. Oh. Right in the, into the chest, unable to make the catch. Single Great ball throw. Dodge by Davis. Yep, just stays on court. Oh. Almost uh, hits a teammate. One from one, but uh, Alwa's nearly taking out his own teammate on the other side with the block. Four balls now. Big uh, big hit there on Modin. Did hit him in the head, but I think he's okay. Did they, uh, did they swap uh, number 21 in at the Danish side? I believe he wasn't in earlier, but maybe I'm no, wrong. I think he, think he was in. Oh, okay. I think he's played the entire match. That was just. Uh, I think that's uh, that's We Malin, just saw them from the yes. from the back side. Yeah. Three against four. Denmark one player up. Low ball. Oh, that's with a shot. Ooh, hit. Three against three. We got a long time. Oh. Uh, unable to make the catch. Wilkins unable to do the counter. Still One a full 90 30, seconds, yeah. yeah. Feels like it's been a long set. Oh, lovely oh, shot from Palmer. Yeah. Just below the block. Only have Wilkins, Wilkins left. Yep. Kostad blocks the ball off to the corner. Three balls coming to Sweden. Safe throw from Balmert. Another block. Yes, Another block. Nice block. And even goes to the uh, to the Danish side. That's very fortunate. Thirty seconds left. Lovely oh, catch. Great Brings catch. it to two all. And that's uh, Strom just scratching his head because it's the worst thing you want to see as a coach. When you're up by two, you give away a catch and it becomes even. Yeah. Be ten seconds. Denmark gonna have to throw. Safe throw from uh, Wilkins. Good covering. Lovely block. And I think they're going to leave it there. No hits. Tie. I mean, if, the, if if any of them were a hit, it would have been a simultaneous hit and it'd be one one. Yeah. So I think uh, I think a tie is fair. Yeah. So eleven nine now to uh, Denmark. Well, what happens now? Because it was every time it was two sets for them, two sets for them. Ah, it's a new now half. Have... New half, new rules. Yeah. Yeah, 13 and a half minutes left. Three balls for Sweden. Quick throw from John Speak. So after all the balls being thrown, no hits. Still at six all. Lovely catch Great from catch. Davis. Block from uh, Halstad. Ooh, oh. blocks, it, blocks into his teammate. This is happening quite a lot, like almost. Yes. <laughs> It just finally actually happened. Yeah. Nice block in the corner. Three balls with Denmark. Needs to make Sweden, a hit. Sweden, uh, two players up. Johnsby just getting out of the way from that. Thought about the catch. Yeah, good choice. You know, there's no need to make a catch because no one's out. So. Uh, Wilkins unable to make the catch. They're following my advice. Yep, no, no catches. No catching. 
Hits only. And it also applies to the uh, to the other side. To like Danes don't, as well. yeah. don't, don't, don't get them to catch. Don't give away catch. Bounce. Uh, that oh, that bounce. was bounce. Yeah. Okay. In the meantime, I see uh, Northern Lovely Ireland hit. 2 and Sweden 12 to 6. Yes, it got close for a second, but Northern Ireland have uh, extended their lead. And in the final, 16 to 0 for Northern Ireland. Yep. Oh, he blocked it onto himself. Makes it 4 v 2, 50 seconds. Discipline and no catches is the call. Mm. Ooh, Ooh, that was throw. close. Very close. Great dodge from our force to get all the way across the court from that. Uh, I wanted to drop catch. Good yep. call. 15 seconds. They're going to have to go for different targets. No hits. That'll be a single throw. Oh. John's be out. But uh, Sweden just winning that one, bringing it back to 11 all. Yeah, when we start the next set, around halfway less than, through, yeah. halfway through the second half. So we go into the final quarter of the match. We we'll probably have like four minutes, uh, four sets left. Um, yeah, around. So it's gonna be close. Yeah, it's gonna I'm be excited. an interesting, interesting f finish. Still plenty of opportunity for. Uh, one of the teams to put the game away in uh, the next couple of sets, but we'll see. Three balls to Sweden off the off the start. Block. Good block. Three balls coming. Denmark's throw. Davis dodges. Single ball release. Safe throw in front of Davis. Hellstad Mordin and John Speed to throw. Hellstad throws. Free throw comes in on John Speed. It looks a bit like uh, what Ben and I said about the, the last game of uh, Denmark 1. Uh, once they're entering this stage, it seems like they both don't want to win, they just don't want to lose. Like they're playing really safe uh, balls. Don't you think? I think they're throwing yes, all yeah, safe yeah, balls. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yep. Would, would agree. Just a bit cautious uh, of all the catching uh, lately by both teams. A lot of back and forth. They're, they're more uh, deterrents, the throws, I feel. Like, don't, you know, I'm not going to throw at you to punish you, but throw at you to, you know, know that the ball's coming. Yeah. Oh, oh double hit. Oh, that was unfortunate. Gets a trade back, though. So 5v3, yeah. one minute remaining. 4-3, oh. lovely shot onto the toe. Safe, safe balls from everyone. Good dodging, getting out of the way. Four balls now, they should get someone out now. Two this ball is, throw, uh, has to chance. be. Four balls thrown, zero hits. Good dodging, good yeah. awareness from everyone. Single ball release. Good protection from Carlson, Carlson on Johnsby. Just uh, allows him to get back. Single ball throw on Johnsby. Blocks into the ground. Wilkins yeah. blocks into the ground too. Good decision. 20 seconds. Oh, and 
That's a trade and a catch. Oh, and a catch and, and another, another catch. catch. Uh, that's not what you want to do in that situation. Just 3v2, and that's time. Oh. Sweden claim the lead for the first time in this match Woo. after some fantastic catches. That was that was what we remember with too chaotic. Yes. Yeah. Denmark call a timeout. Yes. Sweden need to win the next set, and they've uh, they've almost secured the win. Yeah. Almost. Almost, yeah. Yeah, well, if they, they've got six minutes and 33 seconds left. So if you take three minutes off, you can you can still play two sets after that one set. But yep. Quick updates on scores elsewhere. Uh, Ireland are currently 12-6 up against uh, uh, Scotland 2s. Um, for you Scotland fans out there, there is uh, a win in a set for uh, Scotland against Northern Ireland in the final. Northern Ireland 16, Scotland 2, currently score, uh, with about 11 minutes left of that one. Uh, about eight minutes left in this third, fourth match between Northern Ireland 2 against Sweden. One, 14-8. And of course, a very close match here on our court. 13-11 to uh, Sweden, Sweden 2 against Denmark. Three balls for Sweden. Oh, that's close. Oh, unable yeah. to block it. Yeah. Two balls, three balls to Denmark now. I feel like the the Danish they are a bit scared of like the arms of Sweden. Of the uh, what? Of the arms. Of the, the, yes, the yeah. Arms. Definitely. They're a bit um, more timid. They, I think they're aware that a few of the. A few of the balls are getting through the blocks. Yeah, Referee the, undecided on that throw from Davis whether it was valid. The, the, play on. the Swedish uh, really dare to get a little closer than the Danish uh, do. Yep. Looks like Johansson's off for the rest of the match. He's uh, left the court. Glenstad throwing above Davis's head. Six against Six five. five. Yep. Still single player out for Denmark. Ooh. Good throw from that Wilkins. Just in really the, nice. Hopefully. Just in front of our four though, wasn't it? Cross court throw from Odin. Three balls to Denmark. Yes, Lovely nice hit. hit, makes it even. Yeah, I feel like he, he saw he was uh, ducking the whole time. Yep. Ooh. Halfway through, or well, one minute 20 remaining. Even, and it's five, five, five. Ball. Yep. Very, very cagey set. Oh, Big catch what from a four. catch. That was impressive. Yeah. Dodge. Secures catch. Oh, and a catch, catch from Denmark. Five, five apiece. Five. Again. Oh. A hit, hit, double hit. Davis really wanted to save it, but he couldn't. And suddenly, from being 6 4 up, it's now 4 3 down. Just have to keep it that way. Yep, good block away from Denmark. Three balls to Denmark now, 30 yeah. seconds. Denmark really needs to hold on for the set here because if they can get back to level, it really makes uh, yeah. makes the final few sets very, very tasty. Just 20 seconds, keep calm. Guaranteed two more sets after this. Four balls to Denmark. Catch. Poor, very poor communication from Denmark. Oh. And set goes to Sweden. There is two more sets to be played. There will be two more sets. That's too bad. Oh, no, there won't. 
Ah, uh, no, there will maybe oh, not be. What about the 30 seconds? Well, the, the 30 seconds started at 20, when there was 27 seconds left, so... Oh, okay. It was very close. Oh, yeah. I thought there would be time, but there isn't. So, uh, Denmark need to win this yeah. quick. They had it. Yep. Oh, that... Oh. That's... Him standing there with those three Danish players in front of him, and he does it. Just needed to talk to each other. They, they could as long as all three of them released there, that would have been perfectly fine. Yeah. But um, only one of them throwing. Yeah. Well, the only thing is, if they would have released all three at the same time, like all the balls would have bounced off his body, right? It would have been a yeah. bit scary, but it would have been better than this. Then, yeah, yeah. They, I mean, play ball would have been cool anyway. Yeah, that's true. Because uh, the Swedish player went and threw it. Oh, two trades there, 4v4. Three balls for Denmark, four against four. 2.15 remaining. Oh, and another a nice one for one. Yeah, another one for one. And uh, Sweden will like that. They don't mind uh, going for trades. Lovely Ooh. block from Elwa. Oh. oh, hit called, hit called. 150. Nice Safe throw. Oh. No, that was a block. Okay, yeah. Four balls with Sweden now. 125 left. Let's say a lot of catching opportunities. Bounced. Oh. Two ball attack. Goes wide. Oh. Lovely throw when he's yeah. not paying attention. 1v3. Misses. Big dodges from Carlson. You know, I'm just going to say uh, maybe he's going to make a catch. <laughs> 40 seconds. Sweden doing everything they can just to make uh, Denmark throw here. Yeah, but maybe in this chaos of them. Oh, there we go. Yeah. And that will be the match. Yeah. 17-11 with a 90 second set remaining. Really came down to that previous set though, wasn't it? Yeah. If they hadn't have thrown that ball and got caught. I think uh, they were gonna think a lot about those uh, two sets. Those what ifs, yep. Yeah. Balls for Sweden. Carlson gets the third ball from the middle. Helstad calls. Ooh. Just misses. I thought he was going to catch that. Yeah, me too. Goes wide by Wilkins. Ball coming in. Carlson takes. Helstad, Carlson, and John Speed to go up. Single ball from Johnsby goes wide. Oh, oh nearly catches it. Two outs there for Denmark. Oh. Three v five. I haven't seen the Danish uh, catch on their knees. No, I haven't seen the Swedes doing that much either. Well, they they just prefer to jump or like yep. uh, lay on the ground. But <laughs> no, because I I thought when I saw uh, Elwas being hit on the knees, I was like maybe that's. Uh... 
something they can. Uh... Oh, Ooh. Ooh, another hit. Oh. <laughs> Ricochet hit. 2 1. That's the final score. Yeah. 18 12. What a match again. Yeah. But it was uh, very close. The, I mean, as we were talking, there was four minutes left and they were they were drawn and um, Sweden just wins out. Uh, I think a draw in the final set there. So um, score again, maybe not showing, reflecting what a close game this was all the way through. But uh, yeah, in the end, it was decision making and the, the last couple sets uh, that really made a difference, I think. Yep. And uh, we'll give you a quick update on the other courts before we go. In the third, fourth playoff, uh, Northern Ireland 2, currently four sets up against Sweden, 18-10 up. Uh, Northern Ireland 1, 22-2 up against Scotland. And Republic of Ireland are, I believe, 18-6 up against Scotland 2. Yes. So it's looking likely that we'll have a leaderboard or a uh, podium of Northern Ireland 1, Scotland 1. Uh, Northern Ireland two, Scotland uh, sorry Sweden one. Uh, is that Republic of Ireland for fifth? Uh, I'm not sure because that court's also playing. Yes, but that's uh, the that's, that's the Denmark second team and the Irish second team. Oh yeah, team. okay, so, so yeah. I believe Republic of Ireland fifth, Scotland sixth, Sweden second seventh, and Denmark Red Raiders eighth. But thank you for listening. And uh, the final finals will be coming up next, I believe. Uh, yeah. It'll be the women's finals. So uh, we'll catch you there. See you there.
Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Uh, so this is the final match I will be commentating with. Daniel Henshaw. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure to be here for this game between uh, Ireland and Norway for the fifth and sixth place. So, yes, and it's a mixed game, if you guys are wondering. Women's. Uh, women's, yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, women's. Apologies, apologies. <laughs> um, so, we'll see how this game is to go. Um, but we have uh, great anticipation that there will be uh, unique stuff that will be shown on both sides. Absolutely, and uh, the Norwegians made it clear just now that they are playing for dignity and pride. And uh, also fifth place. <laughs> yeah, which is very, it's still a very good ending to the uh, competition there. Both teams, uh, both teams have played very well in this tournament, but had a tough time. Um, the uh, the final match is happening at the same time between uh, Scotland two and Northern Ireland uh, on the fourth court, and the bronze medal match is taking place between Sweden and Scotland one on court three. But we are here for the fifth to sixth place between Ireland and Norway, and it starts with a Norway. Stepping on the middle of the line, so Swadal unfortunately uh, takes an early, early bench out. We'll see how uh, Roy do here, and hit on the feet on Jensvold. <coughs> with Norway, uh, with four players remaining there. Oh. Two attempts at a cross court, but unsuccessful at that. Norway throws, and the two ball release caused a, um, their winger to be sent off there. Great presence on, for Presmo there, number 27 Norway. Ashley there, asserting herself, number eight, O'Leary. And a great dodge there from O'Leary, under the legs. Um, so uh, it's going to be an interesting game in terms of what the outcome brings. Uh, Norway are a much newer established team. Uh, they don't have the experience that uh, the Ireland brings to the table, but they have brought a lot of redeeming qualities that uh, clearly expresses that they are not a not a typical inexperienced team that uh, makes uh, uncomposed decisions. So uh, Ireland won't necessarily be able to take advantage of their youth uh, in the same way that other nations might be able to. But Ireland, on the other hand, lots of experience. Uh, and uh, really, um, not sure who I think of the favourites in this. Definitely. I believe O'Leary is a good catcher on the Roy side of things. Um, I was actually uh, spectating and commentating on their mixed game and it was a Norway versus Roy match. However, Norway were succeeding in their hits and they, were, they won uh, that mixed game. So I have props to Norway for having a very good mixed team there. Yeah, I, I think you would. Uh, you could say quite comfortably that Norway are probably the stronger arms and throwers in this game, so you can uh, expect them to make plenty of hits, but uh, Ireland have very, very good catchers on their side. Definitely. Norway will have to be careful where they throw. The, uh, the women's captain, Shine, really stood out uh, as a very good catcher for Ireland. There we go, a hit on O'Leary there. O'Leary thinks uh, she got a one for one on Northgard, but uh, Northgard does not does not agree. Uh, that was time there for this set, and it goes to Norway. Here we have them resetting for the next set, and we'll see what is to come there. Blaine Murphy having a chat with the uh, referee about something. I am, uh, I'm not too sure what it is exactly, but it might have something to do with uh, 
Number eight, Holy Leary, not being too happy with the trade potential. That's a lovely hit. Clean of Jens Fall to do that. Okay. Four balls on Norway. They could potentially make multiple hits here. Jens Fall stopping that ball from rolling to the other side, leaving them with the majority once again. Great high jumping from O'Leary, pressuring up. Bastard holding her ground. Heenan with a very aggressive hit, taking Jenswald out. First hit on Norway of the set. Hit there on number 40, Roy. Two ball release on the wing there, and Presmo unfortunately out. And uh, that's the big problem with uh, losing a bit of possession like that, is you do give the opposition a, a better chance of hitting out one of your key players in a move. Definitely so. Will the wings pre-throw here on the Norwegian side? We'll see that shortly. No pre-throw. Lots of aggression from Barstad on the right, pushing Heenan back, but Heenan's not biting. She really knows how to control the court there. On the knees from and 19. Then she bites. <laughs> oh, very good cross court from Norgard there. And then a hit on Norway's middle player. That's uh, two Norwegians versus the three Irish. And four balls in Ireland's possession. Sodau. Very good dodge, but she does touch the uh, back line afterwards. Uh, ball needing to be retrieved there on the side. It's just hidden behind the net. Oh, a very clean block there. Olyria North start. It's a standoff. Oh, oh no, there's two. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> on Roy's side. Oh, very good dodging from Norskar. She's paying attention to all the areas she can use on the court. Very good catch there from O'Leary. Experienced play there. She read what was going to happen and took that catch very well. O'Leary and Kincaid uh, seeing Ireland into uh, another set win. Majority on Roy there. Coming up to the close of the line there. Pressing height. Great dodging there from Norway. Just a little movement, but very effective at that. They don't need to be jumping around and wasting all their energy. It's been a long tournament. Uh, sometimes just taking a step to the side and being out of the way of the, uh, the line of the ball is simply enough. Definitely so. Great block from Stavrum there. Ooh. Ooh, and uh, Captain Megan Shine thinks she's caught Jens Fold napping. <laughs> oh, oh, Jens Fold attempting to lunge for that catch, but unfortunately it was a bit out of a position. Tap on the shins and a catch there from O'Leary. And that Great takes work. Camilla Nordgaard out for Norway. She's been a very important player so far for them. Sordal well left on the Norwegian side. Sometimes fishing is not the way to go. <laughs> Great. 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 
That's a hit on Presmo there. On the shins up. She's just checking to see if the ball bounced. Uh, sometimes if it hits you low and you don't really know if it's bounced or not, it's a good idea just to look at the referee. You don't want to walk out unnecessarily. Very good. Very good suction there for Forty with the catch. Side step dodge from Roy's wing, 58. Ireland proving very difficult to hit in this set. Up in numbers. Very strong throw there from 58. Stavrum left on her own. One versus six. This is how stories are made. <laughs> Fakes. Twenty seconds on the clock, caught by Catch Bruno, made. but they only needed another four. Forty making two catches that set, but uh, Chadwick. <laughs> Emily Chadwick, she has also been a very key player for uh, for Ireland in their last few games. You know, Ireland in their uh, in the last game I saw them play, they were playing uh, Sweden two. And how did and they do? They actually got a red card within six minutes of the game. I think it's the first time I've seen a red card pulled out in an international tournament. I do not remember which one of them, but one of them uh, hit another player at point blank range, completely not deliberately. It was uh, unintentional, but the, uh, the referees seemed to think it was uh, close enough and harsh enough to warrant a red card, which saw Ireland playing with uh, five women for the majority of the game. I did not expect that, but you know, as the saying goes, the ref is right more than anyone, yeah. so we will rely on their... I mean, the refs are doing a phenomenal job. That's yeah. not said enough at these tournaments. Definitely. They come all this way just to, uh, just to make sure that we have this wonderful sport to play. Uh, a wonderful and fair experience to avoid that bias. And no matter how much we love certain teams, but I love them all equally, of course, um, <laughs> uh, we have to show our true you know, nobility and composure when it comes to refing. Yeah. So thank you again for the refs who have attended today. You respect the refs, you respect the sport, and you respect <laughs> your opponents. And then you can still headshot them, but not deliberately. <laughs> Definitely so. And Ireland there, winning the contest. It doesn't seem like they had a middle uh, uh, runner there, so maybe they're conserving the energy. In between the winger and inside uh, wing. Mick yeah. Shine keeping Jens fold at bay there. Very good blocking from O'Leary. Jens Fold keeping her cool. Great communication going on from Ireland. Blaine Murphy is a very, very experienced uh, veteran and a valuable coach for the Irish to have. Very good catch again from Forty. Made three catches so far. Very key asset to this match. And that's a big swing in the player numbers on that set. That uh, North got and Stavrum going to the bench. O'Leary hits out from the side from the post throw. And uh, Norway respond. 4-4 four, four in this set. We're even up here. We'll see how it goes from now. So they're leaving it to go around the side, but Norway make their call now. Very good block there from Roy's wing. Uh, the hit there on Presmo. Oh, Jens Volt there. Lovely from Heenan. Making sure there's a firm hold on the ball there. And a hit on the feet there. And you know what I said at the start about uh, Norway probably having the better arms? I, you know, I might have to take that back because <laughs> Ireland have uh, really been sniping very well in this, uh, in, this set, in this game. 
Well, we could say that Norway might have the arms, but uh, Norway definitely do have the hands to catch and to play defensively in that regard too. Absolutely, and it's not just the ability to throw, it's the, the decision-making of when to throw, which is uh, crucial. Two ball release from Norway, and then Jensfold is out. Very good reading from 19, leaving Jensfold exposed there. And all that's left is Fronstad now. Let's see what 22 will do. Faking, and then we're resetting. <laughs> and play three calls. <laughs> and the catch was made. Oh, there are only one person down now. As well. One player is all that's needed. Oh. There we go, and there we have time. You see in those uh, predicaments where there's only a couple of seconds left, the, play, uh, the team that's down players should give it their all and try get, uh, you know, go far as, you know, far up the court and try get someone out there to make that difference. Absolutely, that's the moment to take the risks and uh, pull off those uh, last second catches. Game changing moments, folks, game changing moments. So Ireland now 6-2 up, relatively commanding in the last few sets, so uh, Norway are going to have to start looking at a, an answer to Ireland's composure. Very good post throw there from Norgard on 58 there, middle player on all. Uh, two ball release on Jensfold and she's unfortunately out. Uh, Roy still got their full squad, keeping strong. Ireland are doing two things very, very well. O'Leary when they're out. throwing two, they're hitting, uh, hitting the bull holder well. And uh, the second thing is that um, the moment a retaliation comes from Norway, they are responding immediately. And uh, they're winning those trades, picking off the Norwegian wingers. Press mode, trying to fake, but unfortunately lose a bit of grip and then it caught her off guard when trying to adjust. But it happens there, we've all not held the ball um, in its grasp properly, so. And Heenan is a, is a very nippy, fast individual. She, uh, she was up on her in a moment, punishing that mistake. Oh, that effective three ball release there. Didn't have anywhere to go there for Tronstadt. Great two ball release from Norway there. On player two there. The middle, very good on Roy's side, dodging out the way. A ball release from behind their player. Was it a sneaky attempt or was it an accidental collision? We'll, we'll have to see if they do it again. I want to say intentional. Truth is, I have no idea. But uh, <laughs> it was fun, regardless. Yes. Roy really do like their faking when they're running up with um, their balls there, but. Well, it's, uh, it's a very, very good way to, um, to completely negate and uh, nullify these standing counters that Norway are throwing. Definitely. Applying pressure there from number 19 on Roy's side. Hit there on number 11. Bit of miscommunication causing some chaos on the Ireland bench. Ireland yelling nothing and Heenan uh, not quite understanding what they're communicating as everyone is yelling out to them. Uh, Norway now down 8-2, three sets in it. Let's see how they can respond.
And a wonderful take by Chadwick, number 40. Presmo getting out of the way of two balls there. and getting underneath it. It was very close, but she seems to have just stayed alive there. Heenan has been a very key player to uh, Ireland this uh, this game so far. Definitely so. Wow. Oh, on the ankles there. Number eight makes the hit, but Heenan soaks up the pressure coming from Presmo. There is uh, one minute 11, one minute 10 left. Strong swings there both from both the wings on Ireland there. I think they did intend to be releasing on the same player, but had a little small misinterpretation of who was the target. Play two called on Norway side, but great dodging there from Roy. Still got their full team on court. Yeah, and Ireland have managed to stay alive in most of the sets at this point. Great ducking there from Presmo. I'd say Norway have, uh, the catches they've made have really kept them in the sets, but um, they are struggling to hit the Irish. But Norway just made a catch there and brought a player on, so very good congratulations there to you guys. Oh, but there was a player hit. Roy still giving it their all there. Ten seconds remaining. And that's time called for the first half. Very, very good game so far. Uh, Ireland definitely in the driving seat. Norway yet to come up with an answer to Ireland's play, but uh, there is a whole half left to play, so uh, plenty of opportunity. We will uh, take a short break at halftime and be back with you in less than four minutes. Thank you very much.
games there for the second half starting. Um, Roy making a great start with being one player up. Um, great block there from 22 on Norway. Roy's pre-empting their decisions. And a ball into 11's legs, so Dal. All the balls are released to Roy's side, leaving them with the majority. Let's see if uh, Norway can dodge any of these hits, or throws, sorry. Norway making a call. Great hit there on 58. Oh, and an attempted catch on Jens Fold there. O'Leary hit, however. Very good dynamic throwing on both sides. Heenan throws a very, uh, very dangerous low ball at number 22 for Norway. Uh, Robin Tronson just gets out of the way of that. Roy only one player up. So Norway could bring this back. Oh, time called. Really, once again, I'm hoping Norway takes more opportunities uh, to kind of counterplay in these last seconds. Uh, these seconds can really make a difference there. Absolutely, and uh, Norway, they do. Um, they are they are struggling a little bit now with uh, Ireland putting on a very good show. I think. Uh, I think that the fatigue at this point could be an element. <laughs> I believe so too. And again, it's one of those kind of new things to get used to about, you know, managing your stamina, your strength, and how much you have left within you for these final games. You know, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint, but at the same time... Uh, You're sprinting. <laughs> what a catch from Conti there. Very clean. But uh, yeah, with these... Uh, Conati, sorry. Um, these uh, teams that often have an uphill battle against uh, the likes of Scotland or uh, Northern Ireland, they don't have the luxury of uh, playing their uh, their benches in the the opening groups. They uh, they need their best players to start and uh, play and play their best immediately in the groups. So uh, when it gets to the later stages, having a squad depth of strong players is vital, and that uh, is another element that really sets the uh, the best teams aside, especially. Uh, the top three squads of Northern Ireland, Austria and England when it comes to European dodgeball. Absolutely. Oh, and a four, is that a four ball release? Four ball release. Norway must have given it away somehow and uh, yeah, they pick off uh, Swaddle from Norway. Very, Very good dodging from 37. Going through the legs and round the side of the arm. King Cage, she, uh, she didn't want to get hit that time. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, and 22 hit off there on Norway's side. Now, uh, it does look like Norway have uh, decided that they're going to start releasing two balls a little bit more. They need um, to pick up the pace, isn't it? The action is there. Yeah, they do need something to change, so uh, it makes sense that they would go for it. I believe it's a coach's way of saying be more aggressive and um, you know get those hits confirmed. Ooh, wow, what a block! Stavrum and Nordgard go forwards <laughs> together. <laughs> Amazing. Oh! O'Leary taken out. She seems to think she hit Norgard again. Uh, Norgard is, uh, it's difficult to say. 
because it could have gone through her legs. Number 37 taken out by Norgard as well. She is having a very, very good set. There is 22 seconds on the clock and Norway just need one hit. Dodging out the way there. Ah, Heenan puts a stop to Norgard. Conaty, Shine and Heenan all go through together. And that's uh, another set to the Irish. Captain Megan Shine making it very clear to her team that uh, just because they are up, they should not get complacent. This is not their game yet. Definitely so. This, I believe there's 13 minutes on the clock. Um, or, is that accurate, that one? Or is it a good? <laughs> Might have to check on the screen now. It's, uh, it is a commanding lead that uh, Ireland seem to have gotten themselves into. It's 14-2. Uh, If uh, any of the viewers are on the live stream and are here to catch all of the dodgeball action, uh, just so that you know, the uh, the women's final and the women's bronze place medal is also happening simultaneously. Uh, the bronze place medal is 8-8 eight, eight between Sweden 1 and Scotland 2 after Scotland 2 knocked out their own first team oh, oh. in the semi-finals. And now, uh, now they seem to be uh, potentially taking Sweden off the, uh, off the podium. Meanwhile, in the final, it is a far more dominant result with uh, Northern Ireland up 17-1. Here we have both teams getting ready to line up. Be very interested to see how, uh, how Norway have adapted their tactics for, uh, from this timeout, what they'll change. They definitely need to do something. Especially for this last quarter of the game. You know, Norway have impressed a lot of people um, in terms of how composed and strategically they have played, especially given their youth. But um, they will be a little bit disappointed so far in this game, having not taken uh, more than one set so far. You'd think that they'd fancy being able to take a set. A hit there on Prosmo's feet. And, uh, Madeline Hill manages to stay on the court, <laughs> sliding back just... O'Leary making use of the space. Norway coming in, showing them what they've got. Oh, and a very successful straight down the middle ball there, and a hit on 35. And they're even in numbers. Very good dodge there on Lynch Hill. Oh, a hit there on 42. Great job there from Shine, showing her, uh, showing her experience and just making sure she does get that second ball so that her winger is, uh, is able to cover from the other side. I'd have to say uh, the uh, the most entertaining elements of, or, or one of the most entertaining elements of this game, has been the O'Leary Northgard battle on the uh, on the Ireland's right wing versus Norway's left. Has been a, an entertaining watch. Both taking each other out plenty. Oh, very good. Fakes throwing them off and getting the confirmed hit on 14. And there you saw Norgard throwing that cross court, like you said, and uh, getting out of the way of O'Leary's ball. So uh, she won that specific play in this duel. Surely. On the feet there, and Norway are up. Oh, O'Leary trying to catch her off guard there. She needs to be keeping her eyes forwards. Make sure you look in all directions, folks. Yeah. 
and she draws the possession. Norgard is uh, she's showing a lot of uh, a lot of intuition in the way she plays. Bouts there. Heenan survives. Heenan and O'Leary up against four Norwegians. Just six seconds left. Oh, and ball broken. There we go, Norsegaard sent off. Norway left without the captain, and the whistle was called. So they take another set. That is 14-4 uh, to Ireland, but they'll be very happy with that. <laughs> so we have just less than 10 minutes remaining on the clock, so we have officially entered the last quarter. Uh, that leads around maybe three to four games, depending on how well each side plays. Referee's having a discussion with Shine in the middle there. Not too sure what this is all about. <laughs> and they're off. Off they go. Three balls retrieved for Roy in the advantage here. Let's Nine minutes, game. 20 left. Can Norway get something out of it? There are five sets in it, so it is possible, but uh, they, need to, uh, they need to change up quite a bit. They need uh, faster sets, and they need a bit more aggression. A dive Such there. as that hit on Heenan. And she wasn't looking, but it's okay. It scraped the ball. Oh, God, blocking well. Uh, Norway are doing very well at winning over the third ball and uh, being able to attack, but. Their one ball releases have not been as uh, as aggressive as you might need them to be if you're going to be playing with a with a, a one ball three ball attack a lot of the time. Uh, ref has blown his whistle. Just checking something over with the refs. The refs. I'd like to remind everyone this is the last game we'll be commentating, the last one of the day before the ceremony. Uh, we're looking forward to what's to come, uh, so stay tuned for all that. The, uh, the final seems to have pretty much wrapped up, uh, where um, Northern Ireland are winning 19-1, so that seems uh, pretty impossible for uh, Scotland to take that, but in the bronze medal match, Sweden-Scotland 2, it's uh, 10 apiece. Sorry, Scotland won. It's uh, 10 apiece, so the bronze medal match very much still open. Wonderful oh, hit, great aggressive hit play from oh, Norway. Oh, that ball just dribbled in between her arms there for Jensvold, but no catch. And Norgard's release left O'Leary free to do what she wants to do there, and she wanted a hit of Norwegian. Shine calls off the counter saying, nope, too late. Probably the right decision in that one. They were just a little bit behind the pace. Ducks underneath. Oh, and O'Leary gets a lovely toe tap on Norgard. Shine is um, doing something interesting. <laughs> Not shuffle. too sure what. The shine shuffle, we'll call it. The shine <laughs> shuffle. She's shining the floor at least. <laughs> oh, lovely oh, on hit. the ankles there. Number 11 walking off there. 
So it is 3-3. Three, three. And uh, at times Norway are doing very well to get ahead, but um, holding that lead, they are struggling a bit. They uh, they seem to be quite vulnerable to Ireland's very aggressive running counters. Sometimes uh, you play a game and you you feel yeah we've we've got a relatively even chance or it's a it's a well balanced match. Uh, but then the other team comes out with a play style that just oh, hit there. very difficult. Oh, it against. could end in a draw. And it's a draw. Very good on Norway's part for staying up there. They did not give up until the end. And now it's a tie for this set. 15-5 to Ireland. Time out called. <laughs> Blaine Murphy talking to his team, letting them know Some a team lot of experience, voice of wisdom in the Irish squad. Valiant chant there from Ireland. And they are ready. All those tuning in, if you got two screens, <laughs> put the other one to Sweden 1 versus Scotland 2 in the, uh, in the bronze medal match, because uh, that is going to be very close and coming down to the end. But of course, you still cannot forget about this very, very interesting match between Norway and Ireland. What a shot, and Norgard just puts a stamp in that comment there. Fortunate end there, Shine. Oh, oh, great release on, from 11 on Norway's side. Absolute toe-tapper of a shot. Very aggressive from Norway. Double counter from Norway and uh, number 80, um, Par Megan Parfit for Ireland managed to get under both of those. Ooh. That's Tronstad taken out. Norway still one player up. Plenty of this set left. And again, 40 getting out of the way there, Emily Chadwick. Play three caught by the referee. Oh, attempted catch there from 19 on Roy, but it's not successful. Good effort by Heenan. Definitely a good idea in that position. Yes. Ireland do have four balls. They are a player down. One minute left. Very good. And they Two take the hit. Jan's ball just does not get out of the way of that. Very good with O'Leary making use of that airspace. An astronaut in the making. Great hit on their captain. Oh, sorry, apologies. Got that wrong. Was a Referee calls a bounce. It's okay, we can't see everything and neither can they. <laughs> 12-5. 
20 seconds left. It is 3 each. Either team could take this, and it could be quite important for Norway. Important uh, for the morale and the dignity of the score. Very good assertion there from O'Leary. Yeah, O'Leary and Chadwick making it clear that this is Ireland's set. And if anyone is wondering, uh, that chair is coming from court three where Sweden have just won the bronze medal match against Scotland. Congratulations there for the women's on Sweden for taking bronze. And Roy make the call. And attempted cross courts, but with Roy's technicality, they have um, stayed alive. They come. Little sidestep there from Warburton. Lovely, lovely blocking up court from Jens Falls. Stavrum taken out there by Ireland. Heenan also. Oh, what a, a great catch. catch. Chadwick just swooping in for that. Two released and she just catches her eye on one and that's all she needs. Ireland, uh, they have run away with it a bit at the end here. This, uh, this second half has been a bit more dominated by them, but uh, Norway have played very well. It's uh, a lot of respect to them. The host nation putting their mark in. Oh, and a lovely block by O'Leary. Catches the eye of Norgard and sh opens her up for Shine to make the hit. I'd have to say Swordel is a very, very good dodger. I'm very impressed by uh, how she gets out of the way of the two ball releases so well. Say one, if, uh, if you had to name a player of a match here, who do you think you'd go for? I would, oh, there's multiple I'd go for. Uh, props to O'Leary for great dodging and assertion on court. Uh, I'd like to congratulate number 40 for making some great catches earlier. I think those are the standout. And on the Norwegian side, I could see a great captaincy uh, from the captain there. Um, uh, Norgard, yeah, she, she has had a phenomenal game. For me, Shine really uh, stuck out as a, as a strong and dominant force on the court. So congratulations to Ireland for beating uh, Norway in this fifth, sixth playoff. The women's and the WECs in general has ended. Northern Ireland first, Scotland second, Sweden third, Scotland first, fourth, Ireland fifth, and Norway sixth. Thank you so much for watching our stream once again, and I hope you've enjoyed the NECs of this year, 2024, in Trondheim, Norway. And it's Seiwon and Daniel Henscher. Thank you, and we hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. See you later. Bye-bye.